What's going on, everybody? We in the house. It's time to light it up, y'all. We out here on the Potomac River, about to get on these fish. I got the big boy fillet knife. We got some carp and we got some eel. About to cut up some bait and get these fries baited up. Let's see what we can get on. We got a big eel today too. We got a big eel today. Two pound eel. Evan TV is in the house. What's going on Evan TV? Look at this big boy eel right here. We got the two pounder. This was definitely an expensive eel. James, Kirkpatrick, Gary, what's going on? Brian Lewis, Zach is in the house. What's up, y'all? 16 amazing people already in the house. Boat life fishing. Today we on the bank, though, because it's raining. So we on the bank today. But this weekend, I'll be back out there on the boat. What's going on, Angel Honeycut? All right, let's get these rides baited up. Let's clean the blood off. We got 45 amazing people in the house. Mad fishing, hobby nerd. This round is, you're supposed to be out here with me, bro. Come on out here. Mac fishing, Steve Austin, what's going on? Champ, appreciate you popping in. I got eel on two of them and I got a gizzard shad head on one of them. So let's see what we can catch with those. And I also got a cartoon as well. Let's run it up tonight. Let's run it up tonight. Let me plug my light in. I don't need a charger just yet, so I'm going to wait off on that. But let's plug the light in. Woo! Way too bright. 
51 amazing people in the house 27 thumbs up appreciate y'all all right i think we're good with that setup let's see Let's get back up and chat. See who we got up in here. Oh man, my hair's all messed up because of the rain and wet it up. Now we need this sucker to dry up. Nah, right, 62 amazing people in the house. 28 thumbs up. Left handed finger trigger. Shit live was it? John Parker, the most um fish angler I have ever met in my life. What's going on, John Parker? <laughs> Appreciate you popping in, champ. Hopefully, the Lord is blessed with some catfish this week. I hope so. Mark West, what's going on? Southwest Catfish Squad. Gene, sup, y'all? And drop kick that thumbs up. 44 amazing people in the house. 35 thumbs up. Make sure you guys drop kick it. Big fish. Yeah, there's carp jumping out here right now. Richard just came by and dropped off a carp. What are you waiting for? We waiting on a take down <laughs> what's going on chris appreciate you popping in xander garrett is in the house what's up what's up what's up we out here live on the youtube trying to see how the bite is going to be today richard sent me a picture of that carp earlier today made me jealous man richard is the freaking carp slayer the carp slayer Appreciate you, Zach. What's going on, Trevor Austin? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Appreciate you tuning in. Man, it's been a while since I've been live on the YouTube. -y. Since I've been live fishing. Shoot, it's been over two weeks. What rain? We fished through that. Absolutely, Kenneth Robinson. This is my... So if it's raining... There's two places that I'm going to be. Either at home or I'm going to be at this spot right here. This is my number one spot to go to in the rain. And it's been it's been pretty good and pretty consistent. Hoping that it stays. Is that a stick or a snake? No, that got to be a stick. That got to be a big stick. Well, was looking for you on TikTok when got the notification. Yeah, I'm on YouTube today. But I am about to make a story. I am about to make a story on my TikTok. I forgot to do that before I went live. Make a story telling everybody, come on over here to the YouTube. Oh, Chatty is in the house and he's going to get his butt whooped on Saturday. I can't wait. Phone to water is in the building. What's up, phone to water? Those of you that don't know, Chatty done, I don't know what he did. Lost it, casted it dropped it into the water there we go we got a bite already fish on fish on let's go let's go fish on the eel head too fish on the eel head that did not take long at all oh no oh no
got the skunk off the bank already. Let's go. We got the skunk off the bank. Looks like a nice 10 pounder right here too. A nice little 10 pounder. Let's go, let's go. Potomac River Monsters fish on. Absolutely, we got a fish on, man. We got a fish on already. Let's see here. Give me one second. Honor the hog snatchers in the house. What's up, champ? Appreciate you popping in. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all tune in to the YouTube channel, Has Life, on YouTube. We out here live from the bank right now. Just got our first fish on. Everybody say what's up. Here we go, y'all. There we go. First fish on. That ain't take, it only took 10 minutes to get a fish. Let me turn that volume down. There we go. This is how it's going. We got our first fish on the bank already. Fish number one, he's about a nine, eight pounder. About an eight, nine pounder. Not a bad one at all. Not a bad one. Let's let him go and let's try to get a bigger one. And that came off of the eel head right there. Oh. Our, eel, our other rod, rod number two just got hit. Let me hurry up and get this rod out there before this rod gets doubled over. There's something's hitting it. Now we're going to sit and wait for the next one. I need the sun to go down so these rides can brighten up. Brighten up these rides. We got 69 amazing people in the house. 51 thumbs up. Make sure you guys drop kick that thumbs up, y'all. Drop kick that thumbs up. I have a feeling we're going to be on a fire bite today. Is Ronnie in the house? What's up, Ronnie Moore? <laughs> Shoot that bird. I need you here, bro. Hobby bird, I need you to target these birds and get them up out of here. Congratulations on that cute. That's a that fish is gonna be bigger than any fish you catch this weekend, Chatty. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm fishing with has. Yes, sir, Ronnie. Ram Bay. What's going on, Ram Diaz? Appreciate you popping in, champ. I gotta turn my GoPro on, y'all. I forgot to turn my GoPro on. So it's a good thing that fish wasn't a sweet dog, but the GoPro would have missed it. All right, 
We got the GoPro on now. We got the GoPro on now. We are good to go. Rocking and rolling. One fish on the bank. About a nice pounder. A nice pounder. <laughs> about a nice, about a nine pounder. Hakeem, what's going on, champ? Appreciate you tuning in. Matt Love, what's going on? Eric, what's up, big ass? We got one so far on the bank. Does the rain has what it takes? Let's see. I hope it got the fish all fired up. Man, carp, yeah, smoke has been on them carps. You make a fine addition to the bait shop in the future, Big Papa has. Oh, Lord. They trying to steal us. Well, what's your pay rate over there at the bait shop? <laughs> Jeremy, Richie, what's going on, champ? Nah, I'm no script for life, man. We no scripting it up. This Saturday, guys, is going down at 6 p.m. No script versus the bait shop. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. We got five hours of entertainment and fishing for you guys. What's going on, Brian Waldo? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Appreciate y'all showing the love. Appreciate y'all sharing this out. Appreciate y'all hitting the like button. Appreciate y'all, man, 120%. We got one fish on rod number one and we had a tap on rod number two nothing on rod number oh that's more than a tap now come on buddy come on buddy that's more than a tap now come on buddy Had another hit on ride two, a swing and a miss. A swing and a miss. A swing and a miss. Oh, there goes the dinner boat right there. Right here, guys, is like this 200 foot dinner boat. Can you give my little boy a shout out? His name is Tobin. What's up, Tobin? Appreciate you. I hope I didn't butcher that name. Appreciate you tuning in, champ. I should sell some catfish to this dinner boat right here. Has we will see your boy in them pink shorts Saturday. Oh, really? Susquehanna stand one by 10 pounds. Appreciate your pop alone. Good luck was catching bluegills way upstream in Arlington on Helga My Flies today. Nice, man. Nice. Appreciate the good luck, champ. Hey, update, guys. Did Susquehanna stand win by 10 pounds? Because if he won by 10 pounds, he has to wear the pink shorts on Saturday, y'all. It's going to be hilarious. I hope they're spandex. <laughs> Yo. Say it ain't. So he already had to wear them. But if he has to wear them Saturday, oh, man, that's going to be even better. We may have to update the thumbnail. <laughs> we may have to update the thumbnail. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. They bringing me some dinner. No fish was caught. They are going to have to, they are going to have a rematch. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Brian lucked up this time, y'all. He lucked up this time. We going to get him, though. He has to wear the pink shorts, guys. So we got to, we got to put a deadline on that. It has to be before the end of May. He got to wear them pink shorts, y'all. To the grandbabies, Lexi and Lily. What's going on? Appreciate y'all tuning in. Is that Chucky's new boat? <laughs> I wish that boat would be lit right there. For one, it'd be hard to anchor that sucker anywhere on the Potomac. Ain't no anchor holding that thing. The wind will blow that thing like crazy. <laughs> but you could fit about 70,000 monster rod holders on that thing right there. I've been on that boat for a dinner party before. It's nice. It's nice. It's all one big flat deck space. It does have a bathroom like in the basement of it. Like you go down some stairs and go to the, to the 
to the um, to the lower floor for the bathroom. It's a nice though. They had some decent food. It wasn't like anything to you know write home to mom about, but it's still fun eating dinner out on the water. It's definitely fun for sure. Nice place to go for you. Uh, you might get a bite now. No, definitely. That's a huge barge that just went by. Tony Cole, let's get them sweet doggies. What's going on, Mountain State? I hit 20 subs last night, 30 more, and I can start live streaming. Make sure you guys tune in and check out Mountain State Fishing if you aren't hooked set to him. I got to meet that young brother at CatCon, and he has a love and passion for fishing, and he's trying to be able to go live too as well on the YouTube. So if you aren't hooked set to him, somebody can please drop his channel link, Mountain State Fishing, and let's get his subs up there so he can go live on the YouTube. What's going on, Jesse? Appreciate you tuning in. How's it been? How you been? How you been hanging? I know we got this cold front coming in. Starting tomorrow, it's going to be in the 30s at night. That's why I was like, man, I'd rather come fish in the rain tonight than be out tomorrow in the cold. And I had to go live. I had to. It's been a while. It's been like two weeks since I went live on YouTube. So I had to get out here and go live live fishing the last time was out with the family for the day uh, daytime fishing just pop up what's up vlb trevor just subscribe appreciate you subscribing to him champ let's help the young brother out he on his grind he on his way the birds are chirping today one more please has shout out my daughter addison what's going on addison appreciate you tuning in thank you for tuning in to the has life fishing show we out here on the potomac river all the new people that don't know we on the potomac river right here behind me is the kennedy center and we are fishing for blue catfish on rod number one and two we have eel and rod number three i got gizzard shad so far rod one caught a fish rod two had two hits and ride three has not. So we may at some point want to put um, up. Eel head get hit again. He was playing with it. He hit it, brought it into the bank, slacked it up, and then took it back out there. He is tripping, tripping. He is tripping, tripping, yo. These fish are short striking right now. Come on, fishy, fishy. 85 people in the house, 71 thumbs up. Appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. So far, I'm liking the bite. We on some bites right now. We are on the bites right now. What's going on, Hakeem? Because I need to show y'all some fun. We need some fun. We need some excitement right here, right now. What's going on, Scott Leisure? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Appreciate y'all tuning in. How's everybody's day going on this wonderful Tuesday? We're almost in May. And we're still in some cold weather temperatures. This is crazy. It has been a long, extended winter this year. The water temps aren't as warm as they normally would be right now. Justin Greer, what's going on? They done pushed the spawn, the crappie spawn back. They done messed up a lot. Need a big takedown. What's going on, Chris Vanetta? Thanks for coming in, Scott. Appreciate you. Make sure you guys drop kick that thumbs up too. Sean, what's going on, champ? Appreciate you popping in, man. Appreciate you popping in. Appreciate you popping 
We out here waiting on the takedown. We got one fish so far today. We got one so far. We waiting on the next buddy. Yeah, Bexy, we got one. We started off the stream with a nine pounder. About eight minutes into the stream, nine minutes into the stream. Chain bridge for striper. It's uh, shallow up that way, but you definitely can, if, especially if you got a John boat. Maurice, what's going on, champ? Thank you, Scott. Appreciate you, champ. Jason is in the house. Jeremy is in the house. What's going on? Jeremy was out last night live on the uh, down in South Carolina. I think he caught three or four fish. Dirty fish is in the house. What's going on? Y'all appreciate y'all popping in. Yeah, one fish so far. We've been fishing for 25 minutes. 20, Really about 20 minutes because the first five minutes I was cutting bait up and getting the, the rods out there. So we've been, they've been in the water for now for about 20 minutes. We had uh, one fish on rod one. We had another hit on rod one and two hits on rod two. Eel is on rod one, eel on rod two, and we got shad on rod three. KC waiting on the sweet doggy. What's going on, Sean? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Yeah, but we got some, we got a lot of bites. In, in 25 minutes, we've already had four hits and one fish caught so five bites total which i like those odds i like those odds we keep those up we're gonna catch a lot of fish today if they stop short striking us right now that's what we got right now we got a lot of short strikes mr dugger fishing is in the house what's up doug appreciate you popping in champ Monster night tonight. Let's catch some hoes. I hope so. Oh, there we go. Rod 2. Rod 2 is getting hit, y'all. Mr. Kitty Whiskers is in the house. Come on, Rod 2. I'm not getting up unless that line gets super slack or oh, it gets a takedown. They got I need them, I need it to go down. Gene Tillman in the house. Where's the free roller coaster rides? What's going on, Marcus? Free roller coaster Ernie. I think he's in the house today. He been out there playing the Anna for for the past few weeks, babysitting over there, catching those stinky dinkies. <laughs> yeah, I think he I, he's watching here. He wasn't here. I don't know if he's gonna be out fishing tonight. Man. Come on, fishy, fishy. At least the sun went down. The rise is looking real good. These Uncle Lou rides on the black light. Can't me get you a sweet doggy? Catch me a sweet doggy on the bag. Watch out for the weird people has. Oh man, Mr. Kitty Whiskers. This right here is where I meet all the weirdos at. This is one of the last like popular spots that I come fishing at, but I only come out here during the rain, so there isn't too much foot traffic, but there's still a lot of people that walk past here. But like a daytime in the hot, there'll be like 500,000 people out here. I would not be here. Bob Seven is in the house. What's going on, champ? But I've done met me a few weirdos over here. <laughs> one time this guy came up, I was fishing out here last year you know, with my brother in the rain and this dude wanted to come take a picture with the fish I caught. So I was like, yeah, sure. And he took it and started molesting the catfish. I was like, what the fish snatching is going on? He started saying some weird vulgar things and my brother couldn't mute it fast enough, but eventually he got there, found the mute button. Oh man, but yeah, there's definitely some weirdos over here. <laughs> Is the same stretch of river. No, no live on the Tiki Talk today. We just on the YouTube tonight. We on the YouTube. Gotta, gotta, this is where, this is the humble beginnings. This started at. This is where I gotta stay at. You know, I love going live on the Tiki Talk. I love going live on the YouTube. Tonight we going live on the YouTube. He definitely violated. That's what I'm saying. He molested, he definitely violated that fish that night, man. Those that were there know some weird stuff was going on. Come on, Mr. Kitty Whiskers. 
Congratulations, Dirty Dan, for catching your first carp today. The next tournament is this weekend, April 30th, on my channel, five at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's going to start at 545. It is um, no script versus the bait shop tonight on um, uh, Saturday night. And that's myself, um, Stan, and Brian B., Mr. Duggar with the five dollar boom for the eel fund. Appreciate you, champ. Versus the bait shop, which is um, I don't even know who is the bait shop. Who's in the bait shop? Now nah, I'm just messing with y'all. We got Chad, we got Freddie, and their honorary guest is J Dog Stan's Kryptonite. So it's gonna be a three v three, but it really breaks down to three one v ones. And then you're gonna earn, earn points for your team, um, but yeah, that's how we got it worked out. The um, details and stuff, we will be uh, announcing all that details and all stuff. We'll be talking about that before the tournament or during. The, we'll talk definitely talk about it during the tournament. But yeah, I can't wait. And then we got the Glizzy Masters the following weekend, um, and that's there we go. Rod two got hit again. Number two on the bank. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A little smaller than the first one, but if you're over five pounds, I'll take them. Nice size fish. Nice size fish. There we go. There we go, y'all. About a five pounder. Five, six pounder right there. Fish number two on the bank. Let's go. Let's go.
right. Oh man. Oh man. Let's go. Fish. Oh, let's go. We got a fire fight tonight, yo. Man, I love this spot in the rain. I love it coming here. We got some hot action tonight. Let's go. Fish. Oh. Fire bites tonight. Fire bites. Here we go. Not a sweet dog. But hopefully we find one tonight. They're definitely up and feeding and active. About the same size, about another five pounders. Let's go ahead and let them go. A workout tonight 104 amazing people in the house 94 thumbs up drop kick that thumbs up y'all let's get to 100 let's get to 100 Stop time to take the jacket off. Time to take the jacket off. It's getting hot in here. If that ride don't get a hit in the next in the one hour mark of the live stream, this ride right here, I'm changing that bait out to eel too. That ride still hasn't got a hit yet. D King has arrived. Fish number four coming soon. Absolutely, DL King. When DL King pops in, the ride is going down. So don't turn off the stream. Make sure you guys stay right here. A ride is coming down soon. Hog Snatcher, what's going on, champ? Appreciate y'all tuning in. 104 amazing people in the house. 102 thumbs up. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy tonight. Out here on this rainy evening on the Potomac River. 103 thumbs up. So we doggy, we hit a hundred thumbs up. Let's go. Yeah, we on the bank tonight. We on the bank tonight. Cause we had rain coming in. So I wasn't gonna be out there in the kayak in the rain. I wasn't messing with all that. So we back on the bank and we got three fish already. What's going on, Michael? Appreciate you popping in champ. We got three fish, um, about a nine pounder and a couple five pounders, two five pounders so far. 
so decent size what's going on my name appreciate you tuning in champ thanks for the good luck thanks for the good luck oh yeah yeah we got them we found them tonight we have found them tonight there's two places that i'm gonna be when it's when it's uh when it's raining either in the house or right here i have now when it's not raining i don't have no luck here at this spot but when it's raining before during after a rainstorm this is a spot i come to and it works time and time and time again i come here at this catfish highway pass and we get on these fish Aaron, mama has is in the house what are you giving away for 5k man 5k we're gonna be giving away rides we're gonna give away reels we're gonna be giving away merch we're gonna have a we'll be giving away some some rod holders we're gonna be giving away some stuff for the 5k giveaway i can't wait me and ernie are actually uh teaming up ernie's gonna be doing his 4k giveaway and i'll be doing my 5k giveaway at the same time so it's gonna be like a 9k giveaway extravaganza it's gonna be lit so make sure you guys tune in for that turn on that notification bell because i'm not gonna announce it i'm just gonna pop up one time and we're gonna be live and we're gonna be doing giveaways so make sure you guys got that notification bell uh bell on dominic hollis with the purple hearts for mama has what's going on champ appreciate you popping in man everybody dropped them purple hearts for mama has mama has is in the house has you been on the road this year man appreciate you cincinnati i just been grinding man putting in that work grinding 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 and this tiki taki um you know videos have been going viral on over there and taking off and it's definitely been helping and you know just keep keep putting out content on the youtube too as well you guys want to grow your channels shorts help keep posting up shorts of of fish catches and fights and all that stuff that get you videos you know post videos up go out there and do live fishing all that stuff helps grow your channel there's a lot of different things that i use a lot of tools that i use to be able to you know grow and grind absolutely grow 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 it's been a long process i started this three years ago three years ago i started my uh youtube channel well actually it's probably a uh, I want to say 2019 yeah three three and a half marcus uh what's your pb this year 57 pounds is my biggest catfish that i've caught this year and then i caught a 55 pounder this year as well and a 45 those are my three biggest fish so far this year appreciate you garcia Marshawn Johnson here from Florida. Hope to meet you at the Kitty Conference in Kansas City. I will be at the uh, Catfish Conference in Kansas City. Looking forward to meeting you too there as well. Fish on has just returned from a phenomenal fishing trip in the Florida Keys. Keep snatching those blue cats. Oh, awesome, man. Southern Maryland kayak and vet. We have to get together, man, and do some kayak fishing, man. You out there, I don't know your setup or what you're... What, uh, what you're capable of you can check it out on the river but send me an email address has life fishing at gmail.com man i would definitely love to get up with you man a veteran does kayak fishing i love kayak fishing so if we can link up and uh, do a collab man definitely let's make that happen mike costello is in the house what's going on mike appreciate you popping in thank you chisel appreciate you man robert johns with the big fish energy let's go we waiting on a big fish to come we got three fish on the bank so far a nine pounder and a couple five pounders and we waiting on the big boy free roller coaster day yes sir my pb this year is 15 pounds marcus keep at it man keep at it keep at it keep grinding the more time you spend on the river the more chances you have of catching that big fish i spend a lot of time on the river you know at least two times a day i mean not day two times a week at least and you know each time like five to eight hours nine hours when i do go out there i spend a lot oh. there we go there we go no there we go no he dropped it oh man that was a good takedown too y'all that was a good takedown 
Wow, that was ill hit right there. You know what? I'm not even waiting to rest, man. This ride ain't got nothing yet. I'm bringing it in and I'm going it. This ride ain't had no hits. Oh, somebody with some booms over there. Give me a second. Let me reel this ride in. Hey, well, I'm glad we decided to reel the ride in because we ain't got no bait on the hook, you big dummy. Southern Maryland kayak and vet with the $10 boom. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you. You definitely didn't have to do that, but I appreciate you, man. Shout out to our veterans. Definitely. Shout out to our veterans. All the rides got eel on. I do have kids of shad and carp, but man, they're crushing the eel, so I'm just gonna keep the eel on. set ready to go 116 thumbs up 103 amazing people in the house appreciate y'all tuning in yeah fishing on credit yeah you had you had got tapped but you know it's good kelly speaks out catfish heroes for the eel fun appreciate you for the ten dollar boom thank you appreciate you kelly Appreciate you, Sean. Alaskan boy is in the house. What's going on, Guerrero? Has what has been landed? Three fish so far. A nine pounder and two five pounders. We missed a big takedown on eelhead. I know the bait is still on there, so I'm just gonna leave it out there and hope that the big fish comes back to it. Uh, we're using 30 pound tests. Berkeley big game, 30 pound tests. And 80 pound leader line. Um, 80 pound Andy's leader line. I had a fish when I was changing bait. All right, let me check it. The line is in slack, so I think we'll be good. Oh. If we have something on, this is stinky, baby. I don't think anything's on here. Because at this point, I don't want to stop reeling in or it's going to get snapped. On the real end, I don't know if it happened on the real end or if this is why we missed our fish, but our bait is tangled up. So I'm glad I reeled it in anyways. This could have happened on the real end though, but or it could have happened on the drop. So there we go. This is what we're using. We got an eel head on a 10 knot um, catfish sumo, hangry hook to a spook, Uncle Lou's three-way swivel, and a six ounce cannonball. What's going on, Jerry? Appreciate you popping in, champ. This is a three-way swivel Santee Cooper rig. It's like a modified Santee Cooper rig. I know the original like Santee Cooper rig, they actually use this uh, sinker slider and allow your weight to slide up and down, but I don't like my weight to do that. I like it to be in uh, one location.
Alright, now we waiting for the next fish. Waiting on the next fish. Man, I love this backdrop. With the Ukraine flags lit up on the Kennedy Center and then the orange and and purple, but it looks like orange and blue. Both of them? Dang, both of them? We got a fire bite tonight, y'all. We may catch over 20 fish tonight. Let's see if we can't get over 20 fish tonight. Evan TV in May. In May, I have two tournament weekends. Um, this weekend coming up and the following weekend. And after that, I will start going. I'm not going to be doing any tournaments. Um, and then I'll be getting into flathead bites. That's my goal. Well, I will. I will have some uh, some do you has what it takes. But after these uh, next two tournaments coming up that I've been scouting for and fishing the river and and honing in and finding these blue cats. After that, then I'm gonna get on this flathead bike. So look for the third week of May to start really fishing for flatheads. All fish energy, yes sir. What's going on, TC? Too cool in the house. Appreciate you popping in, champ. We got 110 amazing people. 124 thumbs up. I appreciate y'all drop kicking that thumbs up, man. I appreciate the support. Appreciate you guys sharing out. Appreciate you guys in here watching. Appreciate y'all. Mark Not, what's going on, champ? I'm having a great day out here. I'm glad to be out here fishing, fishing for the catfishing community. We out here having a good night so far. We got three fish in 50 minutes. And we missed another like five, six fish maybe even seven yes the glizzy masters is the tournament that i'm running the following weekend so and i'm also fishing in the tournament so april 30th i have a tournament that i'll be in um no script versus bait shop um and then on may 7th we got the glizzy masters 9 a.m to 2 p.m and then there's fish from the couch which i believe is 9 p.m to 5 a.m so and I will be hosting the Glizzy Masters, and then I will be fishing in the um, the overnight tournament from the couch. But you're blurry and the background, check your settings. There should be like a three dots um, that you should be able to click. You may not be in uh, 720, you may be watching in like 240 or 480 or something like that, so you gotta check your settings. There's eight contestants in the Glizzy Masters. Eight contestants. Eight contestants. And off the top of my head, the, it's in my phone. We got um, Mac Fishing, Earned Hog Snatcher, No Real Loss, who won it last year. I'll let this chopper go by. No Real Loss, who won it last year. Um, we got um, Curtis. Catfish and Curtis, we got, um, we have Snake River, Catfish Slayer, we have, um, who else? We got two more that I'm forgetting, two more contestants that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. But, no, I'm not fishing it, I host it. I host the Glizzy Masters. Drinking Miller beer and living the hash life. What's going on? Adam Prashala is in the house. Um, no real loss when it last year. What's going on, Joe? Appreciate you popping in. Sergeant Glizzy and Stevy Stev won it last year. They're gonna get run over by the Mac truck come May 7. Mac fishing with the smack talk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 130 thumbs up. Appreciate y'all, man. 134 amazing people in the house. Let's go. We got three fish on the bank so far. Three blue cats, a nine pounder and a couple five pounders. <laughs> yeah, you can catch eel in this river. Excuse me, you can catch eel, you can trap eel in this river. I have not done it yet, but that's something that I'm definitely planning on doing soon. Um, but yeah, I just stopped at the Asian market and got this two pound eel, this massive eel today. And it's working so far. um Daco. so it is a bait challenge tournament and you can use other baits but 
if you use glizzies, you're gonna get awarded two points and it's count for double the fish. So the idea of it is, yes, you wanna use glizzies because it's gonna count twice. It's gonna count for it. So if you catch one fish, it's gonna count as two fish. And if you catch uh, a 10 pound, it's gonna count as a 20 pounder. Um, but if you use, you can use, um, you can use fish, you can use cut bait, but it counts as half a fish and half the weight. And so if you catch a one pound, I mean, if you catch one fish for 50 pounds, it's gonna count as half a fish for uh, 25 pounds. And then you can use like any other, you know, products that aren't uh, fish, like, like um, chicken, for instance, pork, something like that. Catfish dough, dough baits and stuff like that. Worms and such. And there's five, you got the, uh, whoever catches the most fish wearing a glizzy costume, whoever catches the most fish on a glizzy, whoever catches the most fish period during the tournament, whoever um whoever catches the biggest fish and who eats six glizzies the fastest the hot dogs and the hot dog buns last year we had i think three people four people participate in the uh glizzy eating contest i gotta see how many are gonna be participating in this one uh for sure we got three fish so far three fish so far Three fish. And we got outgoing tide right now. Low tide is at midnight, around midnight, a little after midnight. So I'm hoping the bite stays hot. I'm hoping the bite stays hot. Sergeant Glizzy plans to win everything but the Glizzy eating portion. Yeah, this is the spot right here. So you can see a boat right here. One of these boats broke away and floated right into my fishing line. And then we reeled it in, and that's my new PB, 333 pounds. We reeled it in, and then we tied it off over here, out of the way. That was, uh, Brian was out here with me, and um, and Richard, Richard Montano. Richard was out here before I went live. He dropped off some carp and some gizzard shad for me. I'm back, what's the count? We got three fish so far, Ernie. We got a nine pounder and a couple five pounders, and we've had about another seven bites that we missed. We had a big takedown on this rod that we missed, man. I could honestly watch you all night. I need all I need is my Corona and a, and the Glizzy. <laughs> Appreciate you, Trevor. Appreciate you, champ. That is quite a fish story, yes, sir. <laughs> It was crazy. Nobody would have believed me if I didn't catch it live. <laughs> but yeah, man, we caught a boat that night. That was crazy. We caught a boat. It was crazy. Temperature starting to drop. Man, it's time to put the go get the um go get the hoodie. Go get the catfish clothing hoodie. If you guys want some catfish clothing, some catfish gear, go to catfishclothing.com. Link is in the description. Get your 20% off of this awesome merchandise right here. What it do, what it be, what it is, DMV. What's going on, DMV? The last time I saw DMV was out, he was out there on the bank and I was on the kayak. He was tearing him up on the bank and I was tearing him up on the kayak. He caught a 50 pounder. And then about 25 minutes later, I caught a 45.5 pounder. The river was on fire that day. It was on fire. It was crazy. I was rolling up in the kayak to go to my fishing spot. And I'm like, I see some lights and I'm like, is, is that DMV? I know DMV was live earlier in the day. I didn't know if he was still live at nighttime because I was getting ready and running around loading up the kayak and running my errands so i didn't know if he was still alive and i go pull up on him and i'm like dmv first he didn't say nothing so then i'm like hey dmv and he's like what it do what it be what it is <laughs> so i pull up on him and i park the kayak and you know we chatted up and he was slaying them fish man 
He was on them fish. 140 amazing people in the house. 140 thumbs up too. Man, I love it when the thumbs up match the people in the chat. Drop kick that thumbs up if you haven't already. Catfish Viking is in the house. What's going on, man? Appreciate y'all tuning in. Oh, yeah, definitely was a good bite. I think DMV caught over 50 fish that day. 50 fish that day. That's a good day anywhere on anybody water. 50 fish from the bank. Great bite. I ended the night with 19 fish in the kayak. And of course, that 45 pounder. I posted that video up on the TikTok and it blew up. It's over 370,000 views on TikTok right now. Yup, great night of fishing. Great night of fishing. Great night of fishing. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Rod number two has caught a boat and Chucky acquired a boat. <laughs> Rod number two just got a nibble, y'all. Come on. Be more Fisher Holly. What's going on, champ? Nice to see you in the chat. Uh, we got three fish so far. And a bunch of those. We had about eight or nine misses, man. A lot of bites, a lot of nibbles. Some monster takedowns and some misses too. What's going on, ELD fishing in the house? Tackle box, Terry. What's up, champ? Appreciate y'all tuning, man. Appreciate all the love. 147 thumbs up. Let's go. Fish, hunt, trap, repeat is in the house. What's going on, champ? What it do, what it be, what it is, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, right now. Potomac River is on fire. If you guys live anywhere close to the Potomac River, now's the time to go fishing. With the with the shad run and the herring run, man, they got these fish in a feeding frenzy. And you know, they're feeding up for, for the spawn, getting ready. Well, they're not getting, the, the spawn is in July around here, like late June, July, but they still feeding up. You know, they've been bunkered down all winter long. The winter been extra long. So now they're getting their spring feeding right now. Now's the time to come out here and get on these fish. Has you running a stinger hook on your baits for the short bites? I am not running a stinger hook. I should, but I don't. I have the same setup that I go that I was fishing out there in the kayak with. I, I should tie a stinger hook on though. Because we've been missing them. We have been missing them. I have some stinger hook rigs too that somebody sent me too that I need to try out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Next time I come out here from the bank, I'm gonna bring out these stinger hook rigs. And also, Down East Tackle, he got me a bunch of stuff too. I actually just opened it up and did a video on that thing too. Down East Tackle sent me a bunch of gear, man. He sent me a bunch of hooks and all that stuff. We're gonna be giving away some Down East Tackle gear too, definitely. There we go. There we go. We got to hit. Need your next song with a go-go beat? Oh, man. I love me some go-go. Yeah, 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 go-go, but I don't know if I'll do it to a go-go beat. Maybe a modified one, because it wouldn't do well nationwide, but it'll definitely do good in the, for the home team, for sure. Does every Asian market sell have eel and shad? No, not every Asian market. You got to go around to them and find them. They are few and far between that do have them. Few and far between. Yeah, Sean, I do. 
I will, um, most of the time I like to come out with fresh eel, but like today, this massive eel that I got, I'm gonna take it back home and freeze it and use it again this weekend. What I would like to do is, um, I don't like to really put it on ice. What I like to do is if I, if I know I'm going fishing in the next two or three days, I'll just put it in the fridge and then come back out with it again. Cause when you freeze the, when you freeze blood and then it thaws out, it's not the same anymore. It doesn't have the same bloody scent anymore. That's why I don't like freezing baits. I like fresh. But if that's all you can do, you can still catch them off frozen bait. So I have froze my eel and, and caught them. Oh, um, Shad, I seen Shad a dollar ninety nine, a dollar forty nine in some places, and the eel is sixteen ninety nine where I go. And this one was a two pound eel. That was a big boy. You tried old Jello gizzards? No bueno. Yeah, I'm not a fan of chicken gizzards. Too soft. That's like chicken liver, too soft. I don't like soft baits, and I don't like buying shad from the store. Gizzard shad, yes, but not this hickory shad that they have out there. Oh, um, because once, like, it's like skipjacks. Once skipjacks hit ice, they get mushy and mealy. You know, you got to store them the right way and then you got to get them home and you got to um, you got to vacuum seal them ASAP. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. He's talking, y'all. He's talking. There we go. We got the smallest one of the day so far. I just went ahead and boat flipped that sucker. I was like, all right, we can get him. We can boat flip this guy. Here we go. I'm about a four pounder right here. This one's the smallest of the day. This is what we've been missing on most likely is these little buddies. Hopefully the big ones come through, but hey, I'll take these from the bank. We out here catching them. We got four fish on the bank already. Let's see if we can not get another one. That eel head been on fire too. This eel head has caught a lot of the fish. A lot of the fish. I will use this sucker all night long. He got a little dirt on him, but once we cast him back out there, he'll be all right. What's going on, Gino? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Alrighty. Smash, crush, drop kick, punch that thumbs up. Will Smith slap that thumbs up. <laughs> Let's run it up, y'all. Let's get the 200 thumbs up. Papa Potomac, what's going on, Curtis? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Appreciate you popping in. We out here, got four fish on the bank already. Biggest one is nine pounds. No, sir, not tonight, Mark Nine. Not to tonight. <laughs> not tonight, man, not tonight. Where do you get that thing on your leader? Um, I get it from Uncle Lou's. Uncle Lou's. Uh, search him on Facebook. Uncle Lou's has them. They're, they're similar to Demon Dragons, but they're spooks, floats. You can get it from Uncle Lou. Brian B is in the house. What's going on, Brian B? Hey, look, Brian, do not, I repeat, do not come out here don't do it just stay at the house you know chill order your papa john's kick back kick your feet up and just enjoy the has life show don't come out here tonight because last time i was out here we were slaying the fish and then brian pulls up and the bite stops completely we don't get one single fish the whole time brian's here and that was for like two and a half hours and then as soon as brian pulls all his rods out the water the fish stopped biting again. <laughs> That's what I said, man. Brian B and the B stands for bad luck. <laughs> I was the coach fishing as you started up. Appreciate you tuning in, Coach Z. <laughs> the curse of the Brian B. Dinkins. <laughs> it was on until it wasn't. I'm hoping it'll stay on until low tide. Low tide's at midnight, so you know how the tide switches to go, man. You will be on a fire bite, and then once the tide switches, that's it. What's going on, Down these Tackle? I was just talking about your Down these Tackle. Say man, Down East Tackle sent me a big old gear, a box of Down East Tackle um, hooks, uh, leader lines, and all that stuff. And we're going to be giving some away. We're going to be giving some away. They are awesome, man. They are dope. I opened up the box. I recorded it. I filmed it. So look for that coming out in a few days. At least they quit blaming me. <laughs> John Parker member for six months. What's going on, John Parker? Man, yeah, John, when you come to the Potomac River, I have special John Parker rods. Special John Parker rods just for you. You don't get to use any of my personal rod use, but you know, Dana and the pastor, they're welcome to use whatever rod that goes down. But John Parker, you have to stick to your three that I give you. <laughs> What's going on, John and Dana? <laughs> it is a beautiful night out. I think the rain has stopped for the night. Hopefully. When I got here, it was raining. It was drizzling a lot. We got the tent up, so we hide none in the tent. And it's not too bad. It's in the 50s right now. High 50s. Feels good. I'm out here in the t-shirt, winging it. Having a good old time with y'all tonight. What's going on, Mark? How you feeling, champ? Hope you're feeling better. I know you was a little under the weather. I was a little under the weather over the weekend. I was from out fishing 
Wednesday night and Thursday night in the kayak in the cold and the wind and stuff. And got me a little sick, but that wasn't too bad. No rain in the forecast. Awesome. Glad to know it's cleared up. Clear skies from here on out. Hopefully... Their bite is still happening though. Hopefully we still got some bites. Cause I love fishing this spot during the rain. But yeah, we still been catching them. We still been catching them. And it's calm out there. I don't know if you guys can see the water. Little to no wind tonight. Carp just busted down there. Should have brought a carp ride. Yeah, it rained already, but it may it may have all passed, but it still could come rain. I'm still keep my setup up until until we pack up. Half century is in the house. What's going on, half century? Appreciate your popping in, champ. We got four fish on the bank so far. Biggest is nine pounds, and then we got a couple five pounders and a four pounder. Couple five pounders and a four pounder. I saw some heat lightning. I hope not. You was in Hog Lakes Live winning the giveaways. <laughs> What's going on, Gray's family fishing? I don't blame you, man. When there's a giveaway to be won, go ahead and win it. Um, BR Gamer, if you go on his Facebook page, Uncle Lou's on Facebook, he should have a email or a message. You should be able to message his uh, Facebook page. So message him or his email may be up there too as well. And you can email him. You tell him what you want and he'll get back to you from there. He will get back to you from there. Definitely the man to go to for that, man. Has where do you have your bait sitting on a ledge? And the channel looks like a bend in that river right after the bridge. So pretty much all through here is the channel. Like, I mean, right right out here is probably like five, 10 feet, but I got all my baits sitting out in about 25 feet of water, 25 to 35 feet. And it goes clear across the river. So pretty much the channel is almost the, the as wide as the river is here at this section. There's not a lot of, there's not much depth changes, not much contours right through this section of the river. So we got all of our baits sitting out there in the channel. Absolutely down these, definitely like the gear, man. I love the gear. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. It may be time to start changing up some baits now. We're at four now, Trevor. We're at four. That right rod still ain't got no hit yet. Maybe I should go back to some gizzard shadow. And put it in a little closer. That's the only ride to not get tapped yet. Slap that light. Has when are you gonna try gar for baits? If I ever catch a gar, which most likely won't happen because I don't fish for them. I hate gar. I mean, I may try one day using um, Mike Chavez. He has this uh, gar rope method where you throw out. Um, basically, it's um, like a like a jig with rope on it and you cast it out like on a bait caster like a bass fishing gear and you reel it in you retrieve it and the gar they'll eat it and their teeth will get start will get caught up in the nylon rope you like comb the rope out um and that's how you catch them it's really hard to catch them off of hooks what's going on three j's we got eel out there on all the rods right now. But I do have Gizzle Shad and Carp too as well. Yep, nylon strings, that's the best way to catch them. I've only seen one person catch a gar on a circle hook. And that was John Euler. When John Euler came to the Potomac River, this joker catches 
a whole bunch of blue catfish. He catches his PB like eight times, and he catches a freaking five, six pound guard too. It was crazy. I, I've never seen a guard caught. I know we get guard bites. Um, when you're fishing um, like 10 to 12 feet of water and the tide goes out, and when the water's warm, the guard move in. And John Euler, he called himself a guard that day. I was in shock. The circle hook went right down in the middle of his, his uh, teeth, right in the middle of it, right in the soft spot of his mouth. You caught a big guard on a circle hook too? Nice, Catfish Viking. Got some channels last night in my belly. They go, man. Channel cats are some delicious eating for sure. They are some delicious eating. What's y'all's favorite? If you go channel catfish, flathead, or blue. I've never eaten a flathead. Channels and blues are good, but I would go channel cat over blue cat. I heard flatheads taste delicious too, but I've only caught two in my life and I released both of them. Um, I definitely want to eat them. I would love to do a catch and cook on a flathead. So when I go after and target them next month, I'm going to try and uh, get a flathead that I can cook too as well. Butter catfish, flatheads. I've heard flatheads are delicious. I heard they're the best out of all of them. Flathead, flathead, flathead. Eel is the meal, especially this time of year going forward. They migrate with the stripers, so you know, yes, eel is definitely the meal. I love eel. Flathead, flathead. Everybody's saying flathead, so I got to try me a flathead. I got to try me a flathead. Make poor man's lobster out of them flatheads. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this year I use eel all around. I use eel in the wintertime too. They work good. Eel and carp. Eel and carp. I love carp in the cold weather. That's what I'm going to do with this rod right here. I'm about to put some carp on it. Let's bring it in and put some carp on it. And I'm going to recast rod number one in a different spot. What's going on off the hooks? Robert Jones, we need the greedy. <laughs> we need the greedy.
Check my my hook, make sure it is still sharp. Yep, we're good. Didn't bend the hook point out. All right, 124 amazing people in the house. Time to put some time to put some park on the hook. Let's turn this light so I can see. Here we go. What's going on, Joshua? We're going to start off with a nice, bloody piece of tail on the car. Let's go, Curtis in the house, Steve Mosley, what's up champ, appreciate y'all popping in here, 136 amazing people in the house, 180 thumbs up, drop kick that thumbs up y'all, we got four fish on the back, uh, I was just checking the battery percentage, making sure I need to put the phone on the charger yet. script because that's how i roll judge jody with the five dollar boom appreciate you judge jody make sure you guys drop kick jody's channel link if you want a hook set to her give her a hook set she's on that road to 1k she's out there grinding she got her flathead uh fishing tournament challenge each and every thursday night at 10 p.m Somebody drop Pontoon Jody's channel. The Flathead Queen is in the house. What's going on, Jody? We out here on the bank today. I had to put the kayak up till Saturday. Maybe I can get out Friday during the day. Try to get out Friday early. See if I can get out Friday early and do some scouting. Because it's going to be cold, so I ain't trying to be out there at nighttime. Maybe we'll get out Friday during the day, get out in the kayak. But this rain, I was not going to be out there in the rain. 
Other than that, it would have been a perfect night to be out on the kayak because it is calm. It's dead calm out there. If it wasn't for the dag blasted rain, appreciate your Curtis, Pontoon Jody, Catfishing, First Lady of Flatheads. Thank you, Curtis. Make sure y'all go check that out. And Evan, too. Appreciate you, Evan, for dropping that channel link. Turn on all notifications. I'm here. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. Hey, how you doing? You will not be disappointed. Waiting on us. The good thing about the rain is it, it, all the bugs ain't out today. That's the only good thing about the rain. Normally that black light have so many bugs out and in this ring light right here we have so many bugs out. That's the one good thing about fishing in the rain. And most likely your bank spot's gonna be open. But when I got here surprisingly somebody was here fishing but he was only bass fishing. Like, hey, do you mind if I set up? Because he was like, he wasn't going to be here long. He was only, he only fished for like 20 minutes and he got out of here. Fished for like 20 minutes, got snagged up a couple times, and then he got up out of here. Because he was fishing that bladed jig right out here, and it's very rocky. It's very rocky out there, very snaggy. Right here close to the shore, it's a lot of rock debris. Out there is muddy bottom, but right here is rock. Come on, where y'all lag? We will start off in a nice fire bite and then where the fish go? What the fish snatcher happened to all the fish? I know we ain't sore lip them all. He was just getting warmed up. We was just getting warmed up. Don't worry, it's coming back. The thing about the spot is they come in waves. Chat is quiet. Come say howdy. <laughs> howdy, howdy. What's going on, Yak Shore? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Yeah, the bike come through here in waves. I call this the catfish highway. Cause you got up river that way, with tons of bait, tons of catfish, and you got down river that way. And this right here is the highway, connects the two together. And it's very narrow. It's only about 250, maybe 300 yards max. Only about 300 yards max. Solo dolo tonight, Joe. That's how I'm out most of the time. What's going on, JJ? Has you ready for the draft Thursday? Absolutely, Curtis. Absolutely. Can't wait for the draft on Thursday. Yeah, majority of the time I'm out fishing, I'm out by myself. Whether it be on the bank or the kayak. Solo dolo. Sometimes my brother comes out. Sometimes Brian B will pop up. But I told Brian not to pop up tonight because... The fish stop biting when Brian comes up. Team Snag and Whiskers, what's going on, champ? But he was also out here earlier fishing in the boat. We kept egging him on, trying to get him to go live, but he said he was recording a video. He's like, I'm recording a video. I'm recording a video. I'm not going live. I'm like, you sound like me, you big dummy. Go live. Go live. <laughs> I be doing that time like I'm out recording the video, but I do go live after I finish recording the video though What's going on big Mike appreciate you popping in champ. How's the fishing been on the Tennessee River? <laughs> there he goes laughing I'm recording a video guys. I'm camera shy today <laughs> yeah. Nah, I know I'll be I can respect it cuz you got to have them videos, man. You got to keep that content coming. Getting better every day. Nice, nice. Yeah, the bite on the Potomac River is fire right now. 
fire. Not this section of the river. I only come here during the rainstorm. And it rained today. That's why I came here. We got four fish so far. Let's hope we get some more. But up river, that's where the fire bite is right now. That's why I'll be in the yak on Saturday. There's just so few and far between bank spots. You got to walk like half a mile to the first bank spot and then you got to walk another mile to the second bank spot and then it's like another half a mile to the third bank there's like in like a full mile stretch of the river there's like five or six bank spots it's crazy it's crazy over there there's so many woods it's you can't cast in a lot of places has you gonna be live for a while yeah i'm gonna be live for a while joe You watched me catch that one earlier? Yeah, I caught. We started off with like a nine pounder off break, but bite has uh, slowed down a little bit, but I ain't worried. It comes in waves over here. Brian is getting ready to put a butt whooping on Team Bait Shop. Yes, sir. No script versus the Bait Shop. I can't wait. Saturday is going down. All that smack talking they've been they've been talking to us in the in the chats and in the group chats for months they can't run and hide no more now i haven't been bass fishing yet yeah we got tired right now we got outgoing tide low tides at midnight and that's the thing that kills the bite too you will you'll find a spot you'll get on the fish and you'll be catching them and slaying them an hour two hours whatever but there we go. That carp was getting hit. That carp was getting hit. I saw that line get taught. But the bite, but the tide can change the bite. Right now we got outgoing tide though. So and we've had outgoing tide since I've been here. So we should be good. We should be good to go. We should be good to go. But ride number three, that's the one I just put some fresh carp on. Just got a little tap. The line got tight, and that was it. And so hopefully, come back for it. An eight pound largemouth yesterday. Where at, Richie? We ain't got no eight pound largemouth up here. That's like a state record, eight pound largemouth. Man, bass, the biggest bass I've caught is like a three, three and a half pounder. But I will. I will be going to do some. Matter of fact, I go do, maybe I go do that Friday morning. Cause I have this lake next to my house that is like my favorite lake for bass fishing at. I haven't even been fishing the lakes in my kayak. That's what I gotta do this year, man. I gotta stop driving past all the lakes and coming to the river. During the week, I need to just go to the lake and do some bass fishing. I got like five or six lakes west virginia brother come on over i'll take you anytime deal if there's eight pound bass in there i want to come for sure i definitely want to come where there's eight pound bass at what max say what's going on skull rush appreciate you popping in champ uh these are seven foot six medium heavy actions reflect 45 what's going on just wanted to say love your live streams i fish salmon tuna rockfish in northern cali my whole life but moved to texas last year i'm trying to get into bass fishing now texas is a good place for bass fishing they got some donkeys down there too but thanks champ appreciate the comment appreciate you tuning in uh has life fishing at gmail.com has life fishing on instagram has life fishing on facebook either one of those places you can send me a message and i'll get back to you what did you miss well dominic uh not much of nothing right about now we got four fish so far tonight um our last one came about i don't know 20 minutes ago but i did recast we have um carp on this rod now and it just had a little nibble we still got eel on rods one and two Catfish, bass, and panfish. What's going on, champ? The bite is decent. The bite is decent. We got four fish so far. So, the bite, and we've had a lot of misses. But we had, oh, there we go. There we go. You hit. You hit. Come on. 
on the bank, y'all. That came on the carpet. All right. Here we go. Stinky Dinky number one. Hakeem, welcome to the Has fam. Appreciate you, champ. We got stinky dinky number one. This right here, a perfect eater size. Perfect eater size. All right, let's let them go. Let's cast this baits out. And let's check uh, ride number one. See if we got to fit Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Five fish on the bank so far tonight. Let's go. I'm here. Appreciate your champ. Hakeem Ellis with the $2 sticker. Appreciate your champ. Has my six year old said shout out. Shout out to Chisel One Six Year Old. What's your six year old's name? I'm glad I didn't come down there tonight. I had that shirt on today. Yo, Brian, you got to stop with this, man. You got to stop with this. Every time I come out the house, Brian got the same catfish clothing on that I do. I'm going to have to ask Chris for some exclusive stuff that Brian won't have in his closet. <laughs> Yo, man. I almost put the yellow one on because I have two different yellow ones. I almost threw my other yellow one on, but... I should have because it would have glowed under the black light. I would have been out here looking like a stoplight. <laughs> looking like a yellow stoplight. We got 190 thumbs up, y'all. Y'all know what to do. Aiden! What's going on, Aiden? Appreciate you tuning in, man. Hope you're enjoying the show. Get out there with your dad and do some fishing, fishing this summer. Hundred and ninety-one. We are nine thumbs up away from two hundred. Drop kick that thumbs up if you haven't already done so. Shame on you. <laughs> Drop kick that thumbs up. 
Let's get the 200. Back. Had to put the princess to bed. No doubt, DMV. Father duties come first. 196 and climbing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Run it up. Bug man. What's going on, Bug man? Appreciate you, champ. Hook set. We need to set the hook on a sweet doggy. 201 thumbs up. Man, I appreciate y'all. We just hit another milestone. 200 thumbs up tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Waiting on them. Which ride's gonna go down next? We got ride one with eel head, ride two with the eel gut section, and ride three with the carp that just caught our last fish. Has got my first cat Sunday night with all I have learned from this community. Awesome, Bug Man. This is a great community. There's lots and lots and lots of knowledge out here to be learned always learning something and one thing about me is i never know everything i'm always learn from each and every one of you guys i'm always constantly learning constantly evolving always what's going on donna where catfish viking we got five fish so far five fish does anyone know what keeps taking my bait every time i go fishing the rod gets tapped and when you go check the bait every time the bait's gone I think it's gar or turtles. What are you using for bait, BR Bassin? Endless, man. You can get it 24-7. You can get the information. 24-7. What are you using for bait? Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on, We got a five dollar boom from somebody, Robert Jones, with the five dollar boom. Appreciate you, champ. We missed them. Let me see. Uh, I was seeing that BR Bassin answered the question to what he was using. Darn bass, that glass cigar. We're gonna blame that on a gar, guys. Whenever we miss a fish, just blame it on a gar. Dag blast the gar fish. <laughs> creek chubs, and we string them on the hook really good. And we also use cup bait. Yeah, creek chubs should stay on pretty good. I could be a turtle. It could be turtles. Is your hooks, do you have, did your hooks ever have any bends in them? It could be turtles. Awesome, bug man. You see, every catfisherman, unless you live in DC, you gotta be able to bait fish. 
Bay fishing in DC is go to the Asian market and swipe the credit card. <laughs> nah, but I do catch bait too. I do catch bait too, but not often. But most of the time, I just buy my dang bait. But yeah, you gotta know how to catch the bait, find the bait, rent a bait. <laughs> Facts, Brian B. <laughs> And we got plenty of bait right here. And we also got, man, Richard Montano, who's always out fishing, and then he pulls up with some bait too, man. He done dropped off a bunch of gizzard shad, carp. And of course, you know, I got my number one bait eel out here, but whatever I don't use, I'm gonna take back home and freeze it. And we're gonna use that for Saturday to put a whooping on the bait shop. Only if your name is DC Metro. Yeah, facts. DC Metro goes out. Man. Dang it. What the? I had to stretch, y'all. That's what I was doing, man. I was just stretching. Ah, I just ah, I tweaked the muscle. I was just stretching. I wasn't getting up for that little baby take down. All right, let's get, let's get back and have a seat. <laughs> These fish is playing games right now. <laughs> they playing games. Does yellow eel work for cats also? Um, yeah, that's the same. That's American eel. I've had the. I went to the eel store and sometimes they're yellow and black, and white and black. If that's what you're talking about, that's what you're referring to. John McKnight, how do they catch eel in the Potomac? Um, if you're Stevin, you catch them on a hook and worm. Stevin catches eel. I've seen that guy catch like five or six eel. I've never caught eel, but I also don't fish with a hook and worm like ever on the Potomac. But you can you can trap for them too. You can put out eel traps for them. Which I need to do. I need to get me some eel traps. I've been saying, I've been waiting for the weather to break and get warm. Well, the weather's breaking, so it's time to get some eel traps out. So that's what I need to do. I need to find me some good some good uh cheap eel traps so that way if i set it out there and somebody ends up taking it i don't it's not a major loss to me because i gotta leave them out in these dc waters and come back at another date and check them but i'm gonna put them in some good hiding spots but the thing is like you can't even like put it on the bank because the tide goes out and then the line would just be all about the water and It'll be easy to be seen, so you gotta have some good spots. Um, eel, eel traps really is just like a, a minnow trap, but with like a big, a little bit bigger hole. The same thing, same concept. The minnow trap, eel trap, they're pretty much the same thing. Anything that'll allow something to go in it and not out of it. But uh, John Parker, he traps for eel. He goes out and traps for eel down there on the Roanoke. And he's caught a couple of them. He's successful at it. He is successful at it. Well, I need to do is see if they can, if I can, I'm gonna set a trap out above the dam because that'll be a lot more secluded and 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 it's uh, above the tidal section of the river too. So I won't have to worry about that fluctuation in water. And I'm gonna see if there's some eels above the dam too. Belogna, yeah, baloney, yeah. I'm gonna put baloney in there. I'm gonna put some glizzy in there. I'm gonna put some, uh, put some slim jim in there. Put some, um, some like dog food or cat food up in there. I'll throw a bunch of stuff up in there and just, just leave it out for a couple of days and come back and see what I got. On the Columbia River, I have a huge eel right here. This eel is a two pound eel, two pound eel. I know they get that big out here in the Potomac, but it's gonna be hard to find, you know. You will hook me up with belong. <laughs> Some fried belogna. To eel was a lamprey. I don't even know what a lamprey is. I have to look it up. 
I've seen something weird that Danny Stone caught one day. I think he called it a mudfish. That joker looked like a salamander or something. That joker was the ugliest, weirdest looking thing. Yeah, we don't have those type like a fish out here. It's funny seeing different fish around the country, you know, in different parts of the water. <laughs> you might catch Ernie. <laughs> Ernie going for a free roller coaster ride in the glizzy trap. <laughs> Oh, wow. They attach the fish. They drill holes in them and suck their bloods like leech. Sheesh. I seen on YouTube someone made an eel trap out of a five gallon water bucket. Mmm. That is, I may, may have to try that, Mac. May have to get that a try. We can also set some up on the Anacostia, too. Because it's, it, it'll be, it's going to take a while to get the pattern and figure out where the eel are. Just because you throw it out there, don't mean that the eel are going to come. But we're going to figure it out. As a as a team, as a Potomac River crew, we are gonna collectively get on some eel because we can all use some free eel up in here. So you know, I'm gonna get Bex and Brian B and Stevan and Richard and Mac. We all gonna come together and we're gonna get some eel traps set up and that way, you know, some somebody can be around checking them. Somebody can always be on somebody's side of the river and be like, oh, we got them here. Up, oh, we don't got them there. Let's move it. Let's, you know, every time you go check the eel trap, always bring some fresh baits out and boom, boom. That's what we need to do. Start a chain of uh, eel trapping out here on the tunnel. Oh, I need to do too is like while I'm out here fishing just throw a eel trap out while I'm fishing and then bring it back in six seven hours later and they have the eel in there chop a bite I thought it works we had a bite on ride too we had a chop a bite we just didn't have a chopper hookup but not yet anyways I was seeing them at Hayes Point running with the heron yes sir that heron's crazy. That heron's everywhere right now. Everywhere. The heron is all over Hayes Point in the Tidal Basin. And then the Hickory Shad are all up Fletcher's. It's crazy how they both make a run, but they both go separate ways. The, the uh, heron, they run all the way up towards the dam. And then, I mean, the, the Hickory Shad run all the way up towards the dam. And then the heron love... Haynes Point and and um in the tidal basin. One hundred and forty one amazing people in the house. There we go. Slack. Take it back. Mr. Little Booger. He's playing around over there, man. He done hit it. He done slapped it up. He done took it back. Herring, yeah, it is a bait fish, but you're not allowed to use them. What's going on, DC Metro, the crappie slayer? DC Metro went out last night and put on a crappie clinic. He was crushing them last night. He was crushing them. He said he caught over 60. He, he, uh, you best believe that he had a nice crappie fly, uh, fry today. He had some big boys too. What's going on, Catfish? Chris is in the house. What's up, champ? Tanya, thanks for popping in. 149 amazing people in the house. 208 thumbs up. 
Let's go. We got five fish so far tonight, y'all. Biggest one is nine pounds. Nine pounds is our biggest one of the night. Let's see here. Sorry, y'all. I was checking messages on my other phone. No reloads. I hope to crush crappie in the morning. I'm making some jigs tonight while I'm at work, man. Good luck, man. Are you on Tiki Taki 2 tonight? I am not on Tiki Taki right now. I'm just on the YouTube right now. Just the YouTube tonight. So far. Who knows? You know, I always got the. The, the trigger, the ticky tacky thing is always itching. <laughs> <It's like, nah. laughs> and make it fired up. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Waiting on the take down i call it ticky tacky because of you <laughs> yeah i don't know why i started calling it a thing but i call it the ticky tacky <laughs> yo that's my ticky tacky right there man i got everybody calling that thing ticky tacky now that's just funny had to step out for a minute what's the count up to now we got five so far Five in like 25 misses. 25 misses on the blue cats. But I'll take it. I will take it. All right, Yak Show. Appreciate you popping in, champ. 150 amazing people in the house. If you haven't already done so, drop kick that thumbs up, man. Drop kick it. Smash it. We got the police and the, and the ambulance going by. Hopefully everybody's okay. Hopefully everybody's okay. I got 300 plus subs for my big fish. Awesome Mac fishing. That's dope, man. Got a ham for like five bucks. Hope they like it. Nice. My daughter laughed at me when I said it in front of her. <laughs> nice Mac fishing. Congratulations, champ. Yeah, I had a uh, video blow up on the TikTok. It's at like 370,000 followers. I mean, views. And it got me like 3,000 new followers on the TikTok over the last two days. We got um, eel head on ride one, an eel gust section on ride two, and we got carp on ride three. Uh, carp tail section on ride three. So far, all rides have caught a fish. All of them. Green Machine Outdoors. What's going on, Dan? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate you, man. That means a lot. I appreciate you. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. When you can, popping in, sharing out the lives, liking the lives, commenting, hanging out with your boy, fishing with your boy, because that's what y'all are doing right now. Y'all are fishing with me. I got 148 amazing people out here fishing with me tonight on this beautiful night out here in Washington, D.C. Muddy River Rod Holders is in the house. What's going on, champ? Appreciate you popping in, man. Appreciate you popping in. So y'all, Muddy River Rod Holders done reached out to your boy and you're gonna be seeing a bunch of Muddy River Rod Holders out here very soon. And if you guys want some, 
Make sure you reach out to them and get a hold of them over there on Facebook, Muddy River Ride Holders. Tell him Hash sent you. He'll hook you up with a discount. He got some great bank ride holders. Ernie's, I've, I've already seen the uh, in person. Ernie has it in person. I saw them. Uh, I've been seeing them on Facebook. It pop up in the Catfish in America uh, Facebook page. And I've seen them on the Monster Ride Holders website. That's where I've been seeing them things at. Whiskers, wings, and white tails has congrats on the Muddy River Ride Holders news. They are sweet. Appreciate you, champ. Mac Fishing said he already got some as well. Yeah, man, I can't wait. I cannot wait for those to come in. Angel Honeycutt is in the house again. We got five fish so far tonight. We got five fish so far tonight. Jason, welcome to the house, fam. Appreciate you, champ, for joining. Appreciate you, man. I will be doing a members live uh, in May. I will be doing a members live. I do members lives. Um, I try to do them at least every couple months, and and I will be doing members only giveaways. Um, that's just my support, you know, to show thanks for my members. Of course, I do my regular, you know subscriber giveaways when i hit those but i appreciate my members you guys don't have to you know join my membership you guys don't have to pay or you know you guys do that because you love the content that i put out because you love the energy you love when i'm bringing to you guys There we go, Jason. This one is for you, champ. Fish number six on the bank. He's about a five pounder. We've been catching a lot of these five pounders a day. All right, let's let him go. We back. We back. Appreciate you, Robert. 
Appreciate you, Jason. Fish on. I'm fixing to order a few of them. Awesome, man. Definitely reach out to him. Hit him up. Tell him had sent you. He'll definitely hook you up. They are some great rod holders. And they also, they got that double, um, you know, metal shaft that sticks down to the ground. You know me. I love to lock my reels down. So I got to have a nice sturdy rod holder that they're going to bend the flex on me. Um, Adrian, not sure. It's only 10 o'clock. I plan on at least staying out here till midnight. At least being out here till midnight tonight. Because I ain't got to get up early tomorrow. When I come out here to go fishing, we hang out late. Depends on the bite. And if you guys want to tune in, because you know, you know, Michael Murillo, Asian Murillo, he calls me the people's champ because I give the people what they want to see. If you guys want to see some more fishing, then that's what we're going to see. What's going on? Circle Hook Productions. What's going on, champ? Man, I see um, uh, Dan got the new canoe. And then I see you got the new canoe. And I, I know about the new canoes, man. Those are, those look like some nice kayaks, man. I'm going to have to check that joker out. If, if you get... So, I know you gave up your PA-14, your Soldier Hope PA-14 for the new canoe. How are you liking it compared to the... What? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, are you going to make a video? No matter of fact, make a video and go over your, your, your uh, you know... Your pluses, your minuses, and all that. The whole breakdown. I'll wait till the video comes out. Video coming soon. Right there, you guys. Go make sure you check out Circle Hooks Productions. If you guys love kayak fishing. Man, we got some carps busting out there. He's uh, fished out of Hobie PA-14, and now he has a new canoe. I've only fished out of, when it comes to, like, you know, big kayak fishing, river kayaks. I've only fished out of the Old Town Sportsman 136, but... Um, Dan and, and um, Circle Hooks, uh, Clint, they have some more experience in that aspect of it. So definitely go check them out. You know, I love my Hobie, I mean, my, uh, my Old Town Sportsman. As a bigger guy, I'm very comfortable out there on the water in that kayak. You know, I like the room. And now it's not the easiest to pedal. You know, it's, it's cone point up front, but then it's, it's a box out back. And that's what gives it that big stability. But as far as like aerodynamics and moving through the water, it's not the best kayak to move through and cut through the water. But I need stability. That's my main thing. You know, my top speed is like three and a half, four miles an hour in that thing, um, which is plenty fast enough for me to get to my bank spots or my, my uh, fishing spots. I don't travel too far in the kayak. What hooks? I'm using 10 odd um circle hooks from um what's it called 10 out circle hooks from i'm sitting here drawing the blank on the company hold on a second what the, what the fish snatcher i think i got him in here Catfish Sumo Hangry Hooks right here. And I have the Hangry Hooks and I have their Octopus Hooks. I like their Hangry Hooks better. The gap on them is bigger. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting some more of these for sure. I'm loving these Hangry Hooks right here. That's the ones that I use the most is these Hangry Hooks. I used to use those Octopus ones with the bent, the bent eyelid. That's what I'm used to using. But I tried these out and I'm loving them. Now these 10 knots, now this one is, is like a 10 knot. But the 10 knot um octopus hook is more like an 8 knot, I would say, in size comparison. This one's like a 10 knot. It has a it has a nice gap. I can, you know, put my thumb through there. That's how you know judge it. Put your thumb through, see how big the gap is on it. They still catch the dinky fish, and they're gonna hook your big fish, no problem. Now, if you're throwing out some donkey baits, you may want to go up to like 12 odds, but those 10 odds are perfect. Uh, six on the bank. Yep, six on the bank tonight. 
I used to have the Tarpon 140. Done subscribe, the notification set. Nice, I'm here. Appreciate you for supporting the Catfish Community Champ. Tried in 13, loved them both. Yeah. 10 knots, yeah. 10 knots are a perfect all around size. All around size. I use 10 knots and 8 knots. A couple times, sometimes I go up to 12s, but I don't go any, I'll never go anything smaller than an 8 knot circle hook. Never go anything smaller than an 8 knot. There we go. We got to hit on that middle rod. Number seven, and I gotta retie my leader. I don't need to retie my leader. I gotta re I gotta cut off some of this main line before I send this back out there and we break off on a big fish. Fish number seven, y'all. About another five pounder. We caught like four or five of these things already today. This fish number seven. ahead and freshen up this piece of bait too and I am about to retie this yes sir free roller coaster rides today seven fish so far on the bank let me get some more line out so I can get rid of this bad line. What you guys can do is, if you run your finger up and down your line, you will feel where it's stretched at. And it's stretched right in here. And these nicks right here in my line that I'm feeling, they'll break off. So I'm gonna cut to about right up here and I'm gonna retie. Let's go ahead and check my leader line. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the whole rig. I am going to go ahead and replace the whole rig. this one right here ready to go this is why i keep these ready to go y'all boom i already tied up 
stuck in my pool noodle. And then when I need one, just pop it out. Boom, ready to go. No tangles, no mess. And we're back fishing, fishing. See, this is the other hook that I was telling you about. This is the octopus hook right here. We're gonna go ahead and put this one out there. This one has a smaller gap. This one I can barely, I can barely get my thumb through. This one has a smaller gap on it. Tie my rigs in a few times out and I've been out I was out fishing in the kayak last week and when you're out fishing in the kayak especially in the sections I'm fishing that these things are rubbing on rocks and stuff like that and catching a bunch of fish on them will tear them up too their uh, their fins dorsal fins and stuff cut into them over time so it's good Really, you should replace them every trip if you're out there fishing a lot. Sometimes I don't always do that. I'm actually enjoy the time I don't always do that. <laughs> I know if you if you ever watch Brian B, he's always tying up some leaders. I probably replace mine like every like four or five trips, but I check it and see and make sure it's good. Check the hooks too, cause the uh, points on the hooks will uh, will bend on you, depending on which ones you use. These ones, I haven't noticed any um, any of the hook points bending on me. But like sometimes you gotta look at your hook point, cause these hook points will bend if you catch a lot of fish on them. Some of them hook companies, they got soft tips. Soft tips. All right. Now let's just get the lead off of this one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut this leader line off. May be able to still use this hook, but you just take your spook off and then you take your, your lead off. You take your, you know, your three-way swivel and all that stuff off and reuse that again some should do a float test with the demon dragon someone should do a float test with the demon dragon i have some demon dragons that i have in my truck that was sent to me and i also should i'm gonna do a float test compared across the board with uh demon dragons you know, Uncle Lou's floats. Um, I'll do cigar floats. I'll get a couple more floats together too from other different companies. See if there's any difference in them. Alright, let's get some eel and put this on there. I just used it. Where did I put you at? There you go. There you go, buddy. All right, fresh eel. Going out, 131 amazing people in the house, 220 thumbs up. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. There we go. 
that's a big piece of eel. This is my eight odd circle hook. Well, this is my 10 odd circle hook. Look how big that piece of eel is. That's a big piece of eel. That's a two pound eel right there. That's a two pound eel. That's a mondo eel. Back to fishing, fishing now. We back to fishing, fishing now. Yeah, I love, uh, you know, the floats because I noticed that my hookup ratios and fish activity and catching more fish when I started using a, a float, when I started using a spook. Rods look good, champ. What's going on, KC Fish Page? Appreciate you tuning in, champ. So, me personally, I have known that it does create a, a big difference. Now, it depends on what your body's of water. My theory behind it is if you have fast moving current, you, you, you don't necessarily need a float because the, the current is gonna push your bait up off the of bottom. Now, in slower moving currents, slower moving waters like the Potomac River or in a lake, I would suggest you use a float to float your bait up off the bottom and put it in that strike zone. Now, if you see how catfish, like, you can have your bait sit on the bottom. If you watch um, the Fish and Magicians underwater footage, they go down and they'll suck the bait up off the bottom. So they'll still get it, but I just rather have my bait floating so it's easy for them to just swim into it so there is a spider in the floor do i burn the bedroom down or kill the spider where's the matches burn it down go live and burn it down viral video coming soon jody's gonna get to 1k tonight guys just put up there's a fire in the bedroom But, you know, that's just my theory. Like, I know when the river's raging and we have a float out there, it'll do some whole twisting and get your stuff all messed up. And also, it's harder for your bait to stay on bottom when you're using a float because there is a little bit of buoyancy. You know, it's going to kind of counteract on the lead. So, I would say in heavy current, don't use it. But I don't fish heavy current a lot, so that's just my... You know my spin on it we do have some people that fish the tennessee river and the mississippi river and like the ohio river who have dealing with a lot more heavier current than we do big skip what's up champ you can throw your crocs at it jody the crocs double as a weapon you can toss them at the spider 
put it in uh, four by four mode and throw it. It's more aerodynamic that way. You hate bees? Bees don't bother me too much. I hate rats. That's what I hate, because they steal my bait when I'm out here bank fishing. And I hate bugs. What's going on, Eric? This is the Kennedy Center right behind me. With some 600 pound Santee rigs, it's striper time. Sheesh! 300 pound Santee rigs. You about to be ripping them striper's jaws off. <laughs> Man, I want to catch me a Mondo Striper, but I don't know if it's going to happen this year. I'm going to have to try next year. They done, they're probably already moving on up ripping. Moving up the bay, moving on up to Maine. Tanya fishes heavy current with Rocky Bottom. Yeah, you guys have a lot. You guys have heavy current. Sharks, oh yeah, definitely. Sharks, definitely. Definitely for them sharks. They'll tell you line up. Hairspray and a lighter equals room on fire. Do it. Make a short of it. At least make a short of it. Has what's the heaviest fish? Fishing weight you've thrown. 16 ounces a pound is the heaviest I've thrown. Plus the bait, so probably about 18 to 20 ounces. That's the heaviest I've thrown. That's down on the James River. I don't use 16 ounce lead here. I don't even, I, the biggest I have is 12 in my, in, in my, uh, in my lead box. But most of the time I use from the bank, I use five ounce coins. Right now, I just have my cannonballs on there because that's what I've been using. Those are six ounce cannonballs. But five ounces, four ounces, hose bottom, all pretty much 98% of the time. You can even use three ounce lead. You can you could toss three ounce lead out here. But I like four to five, five and six, you know, you can get it out there further. What I need to what I need to do is when I'm bank fishing, I need to try the high low rig or the the Kentucky rig they call it. Um, Cause when I go to the bay, I use a high low rig. And when your lead is at the bottom, and it's the the first thing casting out there, you get so much more distance. When you're throwing a three way swivel rig and your lead's on the bottom, and then your bait's just kind of just spinning around there with the float on it, it's not as aerodynamic. And it doesn't cast out as far. I want to. I need to use a Kentucky rig, high low rig, and and try that out. Cause you could really bomb it. Get get a uh, get my ten and twelve foot poles out here. When I was at the Chesapeake Bay, that's what I was using was the high low rigs, and I could send them like twenty yards further, twenty thirty yards further. Got some now, yes sir. I will be using those. I will be using those. In my in my not so snaggy areas. I have some bank spots up there that I can definitely use them at for sure. Here I can use them too. Man, these carps is jumping everywhere. Thanks, bro. Love watching you all the way from Cali. Appreciate you, Eric. Appreciate you tuning in, champ. Holly in the house. We got seven fish on the bank so far. The biggest is nine pounds tonight. A bunch of five pounders and like four pounder and one dink. Has needs to hook a hundo tonight, man. If I hook a hundo, I'm gonna sit right here until DNR pulls up. <laughs> I'm gonna make a stringer for the catfish and we gonna sit right here and wait. I'm going to tell Brian, bring some Litos, bring some Papa John's, and we're going to be live streaming until DNR pulls up. If it takes them a day, two days, three days, I got plenty of batteries. 
we can keep running. I got my inverter, and we're gonna run as long as we can go. And DNR, I'm gonna wait for DNR to pull up. We're gonna get that sucker certified. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll definitely be doing the moonwalk. <laughs> Looks like another boat coming your way. Oh no. It is just sitting right there. Hopefully this guy tied up the boat good. You smashed it with the seven foot six Uncle Lou pole. Not only will the Uncle Lou's pole hook up and catch a 222 pound sturgeon and catch a 333 pound skiff, but it also will kill a spider. <laughs> What's going on, Kaz? How you doing? Appreciate you coming in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. What is going on, squirrel? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Make sure you guys drop kick that thumbs up if you haven't already done so. We got 121 amazing people in the house. 225 thumbs up. And we fishing, fishing. We got seven fish so far tonight. Seven fish so far tonight. And we're waiting on fish number eight. Low tide is at like 12.30, so hopefully we can keep on catching them until then. Because the tide change at this spot always does something funky with the bite. But who knows, may, may, may pick it up. We got off to a hot bite, super hot bite. Now, now we're just on like a regular bite. Fish every 20, 30 minutes or so. From New Mexico, um, you, uh, Chris Flores, um, Darla, you know, Darla and um, those two, uh, and um, Tim, so I don't know, a handful, about five or six. Handful of them. I'll be watching on the big screen. Appreciate you. Yes, Judy, Booty, and Darla. What's going on, D Train? Off topic because I'm eating lunch. Oh, I must have missed that combo. What's up, Haz? Glad to be able to catch you live. Appreciate you, Terry Tunnel. Solo Texans. Duggars in New Mexico? I did not know that. I did not know that. And Tiger Musk, I didn't know that either. Mr. Duggar, Master Nader's in the house. Appreciate you, champ. It's a little wet right now because it was raining and stuff. But yeah, man, I was switching it up. Switch. There we go. Come on. Come on. Ride number two is slack now. We missed them. Marcus, what's up, champ? Missy Kennedy's in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We had another swing and another miss. On ride number two, that was some fresh eel I just put out there. That joker hit it, slacked it up, and then dropped it.
Bring on the chopper bite, y'all. Dakota, Arizona's in the house. What's up, champ? My boy, the fishing magician, is out there 2.0. He moved out to the Arizona fishing them canals up in the inner city, I believe so. I'm not sure what part of Arizona, but come on. Fish number eight on the bank. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, buddy. Let's get the hook out your mouth. Nice flip. You like the boat flip? The water's down about like 10 feet. <laughs> so all the little buddies get boat flip. Just hope they hook good. But man, that's these catfish sumo hooks. We haven't lost one yet on the flip. And I haven't broke out the net. Even on the nine pounder, I flipped them in. There we go. Fish number eight. About a three and a half, four pounds. Stinky, thinky. Come see what's up to him. Oh, he's talking. He's talking to y'all. All right, let's let him go. Let's let him go. Let's let him go. There's Randall Rhino outdoors in the house. What's up, Randall? Brian B. Special. Uh-oh. They flying the jokes out. What did I miss in the chat? Fishing with Brent. What's going on, champ? Appreciate you popping in, man. What's going on, man? We've got some big flatheads here in Arizona. You got to get uh, get Mark. Take Mark out there, the Fishing Magician 2.0. He needs to get on them flatheads out there in Arizona. His catfish audience back home is dying to see it. Jay Fox, what's up, champ? Yes, sir. We got eight now. We got eight. We got eight on the bank. Eight on the bank, and the biggest is nine pounds. All right, there we go. Got our bait untangled. Let's go ahead and bomb this thing out there.
All right. Let's go. Uh oh. I think we had some pocket fire going on over there. But I, I fixed it. I fixed it. Hey, yo, uh, Randall Rhinos Outdoors. First of all, I don't even know what. You used to have a wrench. I don't know what happened to it. You got your wrench back. Looks like you got pocket timed out. So just wait five minutes and you'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Jeep Girl V. Appreciate you, man. That means a lot. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate all the support. Thank you, guys. Appreciate each and every one. Can anyone send me positive vibes? I'm taking my nurse's exam tomorrow, and my anxiety has me out of control. Anything will help ease my mind. Absolutely, Jeep Girl. We're sending all the positive vibes your way from the catfishing community, from the Has Life Fam community. Just, you know, take it one day at a time, man. One question at a time. You know, you, you studied this whole time. You worked your way up to this point. Just believe in yourself and you'll get through it. There we go. There we go. I was gonna donate that fish to your Jeep girl, but it don't know. They don't wanna stay on the hook. We'll see if you come back for it. Uh, Anglerville in the house. What's up, Anglerville? I know, DMV. Straight booty cheeks. That's all right. Mrs. Happen. Mrs. Happen. Michelle is in the house. What the fish snatcher? Hold up. Is this a different fish snatcher? The name looks the same, but there's no, there's no, uh, the emoji looks different. And there's no, uh, you don't have a mod, a mod wrench. I'm going to be out here, I don't know, probably till about midnight. We'll see. What's going on, Steve Ransom? Haven't been able to catch you for a while, man. I haven't been out here on the, on the, uh, YouTube live in a while. I think it's been almost two weeks. I think it's been almost two weeks since I was out last with my family. I think it was like a Thursday afternoon was the last time I was live. A good size one. You'll see sending big fish vibes. So you appreciate your Jeep girl. We need a sweet doggy tonight. That's what we waiting for. We waiting for a big fish. Last time I fished this spot, um, we caught a big fish on the pack up bite on this rod right here. I waited and waited and waited and waited. Um, always pack up the rods last. You take everything else. Like I got this tent, put the GoPros up, put everything else that I can in the truck, chairs, everything like that, and then wait for the rods to go last. And we caught a 20 pound sweet doggy as a pack up bite. That's why you always wait for the rods last. That's what I thought, Solo Texans. <laughs> That's what I thought. Always, 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 DMV. The pack of bites. What is that? I thought it was a flying fish, but it was a bird. <laughs> I thought we had flying fish over there. 
the best bait for saltwater fishing? Um, I mean, I don't know the answer to that. There's so many baits to use for saltwater fishing. I don't do a lot of salt saltwater fishing, but like, and when I go out on the bay and we saltwater fish, we use shrimp and we use a lot of uh, blood worms, blood worms, blood worms, blood worms. Cause most of the time when I'm saltwater fishing, I'm catching, you know, white perch and um, and spots and croakers. What's going on, Aaron? Appreciate you tuning in, champ. But I mean, you go out there and you catch the smaller fish and then you use those smaller fish to catch the bigger fish. Is this the area the rats stole your bait? No, that was on the Anacostia. That was over there in the hood on the Anacostia. We do have rats that come over here and steal baits too, but I haven't seen any tonight. Haven't seen any tonight. Krill catfishing in the house. What's going on, Krill? Appreciate you tuning in, champ. We got eight fish so far. The biggest is nine pounds. I've always used squid, but I always catch catfish. I've tried shrimp, but they don't hold. Yeah, they don't hold on the hook very well. If you can get whole shrimp, that's even better. Uh, squid, I've used squid. I've caught sharks on squid. I caught some some baby black tip sharks. Um, down um, by Treasure Island in Florida. Um, shoot, this was many years ago, probably about five, six years ago. This was the very first time I ever took a boat out. Very first time, true story. I was down, took a trip to Treasure Island, which is off the Gulf Coast side of Florida. And next to our hotel was like a boat rental place. And you can rent a boat for like, it was like $250, $300 for like half a day and like $400 for like the whole day or something. It was, it was cheap, maybe even cheaper than that. And like, it was like our third day there. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna take the boat out, man. I wanna go, you know, take this boat out on the bay and try to catch some fish. So I go over to the guy, talk to him, you know, see what the prices are, and see if I'm able to rent it and see if you need a license. If you didn't need a license or anything. Um, I just had to put down a deposit and, you know, pay the uh, pay the fee. And then he's like, up the street, there's a uh, fishing shop where you can rent fishing poles from and get bait. So we got squid and we got shrimp and we rented a couple fishing poles. And then we went and went back to the boat place to rent the boat. Um, and then I got back there. He was like, have you ever uh, been out on a boat before? I was like, nope. <laughs> he was like, oh, man. So then he gives me like he takes me out on the water and he gives me like a 15 minute crash course on what how to move the boat, you know, drive the boat, uh, dock the boat, you know, rudder up, rudder down, you know, all that stuff. And then after that, I was I was out there in the bay by my well, you know, I had my my uh, girlfriend at the time. We was out there on the bay. I had a great time that day. We stayed on the water for like eight hours. We caught a couple sharks, and you know, we were chilling, vibing. It was a good time. What's going on, Doug? Insane catfishing is in the house. What's up, champ? Appreciate you popping in, man. Make sure y'all check out Insane Catfishing. Another Potomac River brother right there, Potomac River Angler. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's a little stinky dinky bite. I'm going to need you to take that ride down. Hit it like you mean it. He don't mean it, man. He just wants to play around. He just wants to play around with that ride. He's probably on there. But, yeah, make sure you guys go check out Insane Catfishing.
I'm gonna check this line out too. I've been doing a lot of boat flips with this joker. We're good. We're good. We're good on this line. Check the lever out. All right. There we go. Fish number nine, y'all. Fish number nine on the bank. There we go. 130 amazing people in the house. 236 thumbs up. About a four or five pounder. Let's get this back out there. Let's get the heel head back out there. Checking in before bed. Appreciate you, Mike Irvin. Mondo Hondo takedown. I'm not losing the back. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I was over there using the bathroom, and then the phone went to 20%. 20% popped up. So let's get this bad boy on the charger. Had to go over there and season the water for a Mondo Hondo for a sweet doggy come through. Now we got the water seasoned. We're good to go. Come on, fishy, fishy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me go tighten up round one. DMV's going carp fishing tomorrow. It's going to be windy out there tomorrow. I know when I was checking the weather forecast, I saw like 10 to 20 mile an hour winds. I was like, oh no, I got to go out today. ducks over here playing around with each other come on sweet doggy inbound i'll be deep in the woods oh yeah good good in the woods away from the wind creel all right man appreciate you popping in champ have a good night all right bug man
Good night to everybody that's chugging out. Has I haven't seen you and your brother out fishing in a minute. I know my brother's back to working full time. The only time he comes out with me is when it's raining. But like today, the rain uh, didn't it didn't pick up till later in the evening, so he was still at work. But like a day when it's like complete rain all day, he don't work. So that's when you'll see him out here with me again. Division said go live on the ticket tacky. <laughs> Rob one is good, Dwayne Banks. I checked it. I checked it. I tightened up the line. It's good. It is good. Yeah, he works. He doesn't work for the Department of Roads, but he works for a, a contractor company through them. Um, but yeah, he's a supervisor of a road crew. So I, you know, when it's raining, they can't do anything. So that's when. Don't even have it downloaded. <laughs> DMV, you don't know what you're missing out on over there, man. You be in every live, man. Appreciate your division. Yeah, Jack, it's been great so far. We got eight fish, eight fish on the bank so far tonight. We got eight fish on the bank tonight. Yeah, I may, uh, we may, we may do both. Yo, what's up with all the birds? All the ducks are swooping in right now. All the ducks is swooping on in. TikTok is poison. <laughs> TikTok for content creators is, is good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's, it's a really good platform. Now, you know, I just dibble dabble in creating my own content. I don't really go into the realm of all the other stuff over there, but it's good for creating content and getting new people on and it also streams in 1080p too. Whereas YouTube, they gotta catch up with the times, man. They only give you 720. 720. Susquehanna stand. Stan, you let me down, Stan. You let me down. I wanted to see Brian out there in the pink shorts tonight, man. What happened? What happened? What happened? Nah, it's all good. That happens. It's part of fishing. You don't always catch them. All right, Scott. Appreciate you tuning in, champ. Yeah. We're experiencing the same cold front, but that's why I chose this spot right here because when it rains, the fish still be coming, man. We're catching them. I got eight so far tonight. Biggest is nine pounds. My first fish that I caught was my biggest. Big fish energy. We need a big one. We need a big one up in here. Starting to get a little chilly. I think it's time for the hoodie. I know what it's time for. Dun dun dun. Pork chop isn't fishing Thursday, so no Barney bet. Uh oh. You're about to do the Barney Rebels again? You're about to do the Barney Rebels. <laughs> Yo, Jody ain't right. You ain't right, Jody. You ain't right. 
All right. Boom. Let's do that. Whole time I gotta take this thing out of here real quick. Time for a takedown. Oh yeah, definitely time for a takedown. Time for a takedown. Time for me to meet. Time for me to go get my hoodie. Time for a takedown and time for a hoodie. All right. I got to readjust this. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. That should be better. That should be better. All right. Let me go grab my hoodie. And let me turn this thing. Boop, boop. There we go. So that way. Come on, 30 pound blue cat. You can do it. Back up in this thing. All right, DMV. Appreciate you popping in, champ. Appreciate you popping in. It's time for a takedown. All right, Jody. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you tuning in. Waiting on the takedown. Hey, Robert, I agree. It's time. What's going on, Daco? We got we got eight fish so far. Eight fish, the biggest is nine pounds. Make sure you guys drop kick that thumbs up too. Drop kick smash that thumbs up. And yeah, nine. Nine, nine. That's right. We did catch that dink at the end. Well, four pound at the end. Nine so far. We're waiting on fish number 10 to come through. See, that's why I need a, I need a fish counter everywhere. I need one from the bank. I need one from the boat. I need one. I have one in my kayak. But, man, I'm always getting my numbers wrong. <laughs> always. 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 It never fails. It never fails, man. Dakota... Gotcha, Dakota. I ain't know if it was two or one. Dakota MC. Gotcha, champ. Go live on the ticket talkie. I'm about to. I'm about to go run it up on both. We about to do the master MC of the YouTube and the ticket talkie world. And my view, hold on, because. This joke will be the wrong way. I think it's the right. No, let me see, because I got to see. And wait for Bob. What's up, champ? Appreciate you tuning in. 
Appreciate you tuning in. We waiting on a takedown, Bob. We got nine fish so far, but no way. Another one is coming soon. Another one is coming soon. We would have caught a bunch of carps if if we had some carp bait out there, because these carps is busting everywhere. We need a free roller coaster ride. <laughs> yes, sir. Free roller coaster rides. We need a free roller coaster rides today. They still jumping out there. Them carps is jumping, jumping. Oh man, hope you recover soon, Bob. Hope you recover soon, champ. Be able to get back out there. I know it sucks when you can't get out there fishing, but this is the next best thing when you can't get out there and go fishing. It's to watch somebody else go fishing live. So at least you feel like you're there in a sense. Come on, we need some big fish energy. We need some big fish energy. Where y'all at? Where the big boys at? Where the big boys at? They must be swimming over there on the Virginia side of the bank. They ain't creeped over to the DC side of the bank yet. Soon come, soon come. I'm actually about to, let me freshen up this carp bait. Absolutely, man. Appreciate you too, Bob. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I got to freshen up this carp bait. All right, Frank H. Appreciate you popping in, champ. You have a good night. Have a good night. Regulators in the house. What's up, Regs? Appreciate you popping in, man. We got nine fish on the bank so far. Biggest is nine pounds. We at we nine for nine right now. Nine fish. Biggest is nine pounds. It is eleven oh seven. Yep, it's eleven oh seven here. It is eleven oh seven here. It is eleven oh seven. Yeah, man, we got a good bite. The only time I come fish this spot is when it's raining during the rain or after the rain other than that i don't touch this spot nah he doesn't make bass rods he doesn't make bass rods but i mean i don't see why you can't use a medium light for a bass rod all right um air temps in the it's in the low 60s high 50s there we go Fish number 10. Yeah, I'm on the YouTube right now. Has life on YouTube. Number 10. Fish number 10 in the little buddy. 
A little buddy right here, a little either size. Alright. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Good eater size, yes sir. Good eater size. Good eater size. Man. Oh. Ten almost got me, y'all. Ten almost got me. Man, we still I've been using the same bait since we started the live stream at like eight o'clock. Same bait. Three hours strong. Three hours strong. All right. It's time to go live on the ticket target too. And let's freshen up this car bait. Let's freshen up this carpet. Whew, I thought we were staring there for a second with this one. Let's freshen up this beat. Here we go, y'all. Let's go. Turn off. Decline, decline. All right, guys. We got some fresh carp bait going on. Fresh carp bait going on the hook. to go we good to go man we got 98 people on the youtube 247 thumbs up 410 awesome people on the ticky talkie 
Thanks for popping in, champ. And regulators already dropping them gifts. And we got insane with the speakers. Appreciate your champ. Has I still owe you on some no roll singers, brother. Haven't had a chance to get those out, man. It's all good, Bob, man. I appreciate champ whenever you got the time. You know, you know how to get a hold of me. Send me an email, haslifefishing at gmail.com. We can definitely make it happen. 10 on the bank so far, guys. 10 on the bank. I've been out here fishing since uh, 8 o'clock. I've been live on the YouTube. Hey, appreciate the hat, Robert John. Appreciate your champ. They got black lights. These poles glow. Uncle Lou's on Facebook. Search them up. Search them up. 110 amazing people. The numbers are climbing. Appreciate you guys. Hey, Riggs with the hat. Dad with the hat. Hey, and the stash. What the fish stash? I ain't never seen that one yet. 718 amazing people in the house. Let's go, man. Let's run it up. Chiefs Kingdom with the flames. Chiefs Kingdom with the flames, y'all. We waiting on a takedown. We got Eel on ride one, Eel on ride two, and we have Carp on ride three. And we waiting on a takedown, y'all. We waiting on a takedown. Appreciate you, Nathan. What's going on, Carson? Appreciate y'all tuning in. The catfish bite is real good tonight. Keep it tapping these rods, guys. Keep tapping these rods so they go down. Insane with the speakers. Appreciate you, champ. No real loss with the roses. What's going on, Rochelle? How you doing tonight? Appreciate you popping in. We out here fishing, fishing. We caught 10 fish on the bank so far. I am on the Potomac River in Washington, DC. Right behind me is the Kennedy Center. Right behind me is the Kennedy Center. Bexy with the roses, Regs with the donuts. Appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you guys show some love to the top two supporters. We got Regs in first, and we got Robert Jones in second. Show them some love, man, and give them some follows. My personal best is 62. 62 pound blue cat is the biggest I've caught so far. Buck nasty, big fish energy. Let's go, let's go. It's time for the big fish energy, y'all. It's time for the big fish. Right now, the biggest fish we've caught tonight is a nine pounder. But big boys lurk at nighttime, so we waiting on them. How much are the roller coaster rides today? They are free 99. Free 99. Free 99. The price of admission is a sweet doggy. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, no pepperonis. Big has how many on the bank? We got nine of them, 10 of them on the bank. 10 of them on the bank make sure you guys i'm also live on the youtube too as well if you guys want to see a better view go check out the youtube channel has life make sure you guys go over there and give it a hook set if you guys are loving this type of content brian lewis with the weights new york is in the house appreciate you guys popping in man appreciate y'all tuning in come on fishy fishy we waiting on the takedown, y'all. Hey, Bexy, I don't trust with the sweet dreams. No real loss is sitting in first place. Make sure you guys go chill, no real loss. Another awesome angler, Bexy on the Potomac River. Some love and give him a follow. Bexy with the paper cranes. Brian Lewis with the weights, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I've been out here for three hours, a little over three hours. A little over three hours and we got 10 fish in three hours rigs with the confetti let's go man let's go run them likes up run them likes up drop kick them likes y'all drop kick them likes drop kick them likes which ride is gonna go down next ride one two or ride three now i know yak today i don't trust with the rose crystal city that's not too far from here Appreciate you tuning in. Regs with the swing. Sounds like I should be on the Tiki Taki chat. Yo, Tik Tok chat goes crazy, man. They be over there running it up, man. They be over there running it up. Louisiana in the house. Are you catching the boat tonight? We shall see. The boat's right there, guys. Last time I was at this spot, I caught that boat right there. Regs with the crown. And fishing experts with the hat. Appreciate the love, man. I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate y'all. What's going on, Chad from Tennessee? Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. 
Do you ever catch anything on live? Yes, man, I've been live on YouTube for three hours. We got 10 of them. We got 10 of them. Regs with the hanging lights. Make sure you guys show some love right there. Regs, show some love to them, champ. What's up, Wisconsin? Appreciate you tuning in. What baits? We got eel and cart for bait. Eel on two of the rods, ride one and two, and then carp on ride three. Just jumped over for the better view from TikTok. Appreciate you, Mike Silver. And I told you, the view over here is a lot better. It's a lot wider. It's a lot easier to see than the narrow view on the Tiki Toggy. Appreciate you jumping in, man. Team Fish Scales in the house. DMV Local Fishing. Big Slim. What's going on, champ? That's wild how fast the chat is on. Yeah, because we got 434 people over here on the TikTok on the live stream right now. That chat goes crazy. Regs with the birthday cake. Yeah, I'm on YouTube too. I've been live on YouTube for three hours and I just turned the live on the TikTok. We just went live on the TikTok. You TikTok bring that energy over, over here to YouTube. Yes, sir. Run it up. Has life on YouTube. Go check it out right here. It's just has life. Just cut the fishing off. Search it over there in the YouTube bar and go give a hook set and drop in the chat and drop kick that thumbs up. Woodbridge, Virginia in the house. We got 10 fish so far tonight, y'all. 10 fish. We're waiting on fish number 11. The bite has been steady. About every 20 minutes we've been catching the fish. So we're just waiting for that next fish to come through. Appreciate you, Adam. Checking in from Georgia. Appreciate your champ. Nathan is over from the TikTok. Zach. Big heads, what's going on? Energy been here, bro. Yes, sir. That's why I've been on the YouTube live. The energy is everywhere, man. The energy live, energy on the YouTube, energy on the ticket talking. I'm appreciating all the all the good energy. Is Ernie fishing tonight? Nah, he's not fishing tonight. He is not fishing tonight. What's going on from New Mexico? Ram is in the house. How strong is the bite? The bite is good. 10 fish in three hours of fishing. So it's a good bite. It is a good bite tonight. Appreciate all the follows, guys, too. Appreciate all the likes. Appreciate all the follows. Keep tapping them rides so they go down. Tap, 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 tap it up. Tap it up, tap it up. Chi-Town, South Carolina, Philadelphia, Nebraska, Texas. Nah, I got a mohawk. Pacifica with the hat, regulators with the confetti. Let's go. Appreciate you. You was on the Aquaquan yesterday. Didn't catch anything. I haven't fished the Aquaquan. I have not fished the Aquaquan. Not yet. New York, North Carolina, South Louisiana. Love from all around the country. Appreciate y'all, man, tuning in. Ohio here. Wait for Bob. It's from Ohio. I did not know that. I didn't know that. Appreciate you tuning in. So you fished Ohio River a lot. South Carolina, Texas. What's going on, Jacob? Solomon's Island definitely has some good fish. Striper, it's some good striper fishing down there too. What's the rattle barbers called? Uh, they're called floats. Um, they're demon dragon style. Spooks is really what they are. Um, come from bass fishing without the treble hooks. But if you want them. Search Uncle Lou on Facebook um, and send him a message over there. He got the uh, spooks in stock for you at a really good price. What's going on? Appreciate you, Big Slim. It's more clear on TikTok than YouTube. YouTube has a better view. So YouTube has the better view, but TikTok is uh, higher quality. They, they stream in 1080p on TikTok. YouTube streams on 720. But you get a wider angle. And I'll tell you, like... Live streaming on the kayak is a lot better on YouTube. A lot better because you guys can see everything. Next time I go back out in the kayak, I will definitely be live on YouTube. Rocking the no hat today. Now nah, we got the fresh cut out here. We ain't got the hat on today. I will be live Saturday night on YouTube, guys. So make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got a tournament going on. It's going to be me and two other anglers versus three other anglers live on my YouTube page. We have a lot of fun over there. Ernie the whole Snatchers in the house. What's going on, champ? A lot of local lakes and Ohio River. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we have a lot of lakes here where I live at too in Maryland, but I just love the river fishing. 
I love the river fishing. You got to be at Haynes Point for the cookout. Of course, yeah. I'm the um, one organizing and running everything, putting everything together. Me and the Potomac River crew, you're going to see a bunch of your favorite um, content creators on the Potomac River that day uh, from all over. I'm looking forward to uh, meeting everybody that day that can come out and make it. It's going to be a great time. It's going to have a bunch of good food. Hopefully, we're catching a lot of fish. May 28th at Haynes Point is the meet and greet. Yes, I use dragon weights. I use um, Santee Drifters Dragon Weights. SanteeDrifters.com. Use code HASLIFE. Get your hat. Get your 15% off. Um, but, yeah, I, I do drag and suspend uh, baits. But I do it, like, I'll do it on this section of the river, but mainly down river is where I do it. Up in the section that I like to fish out of the kayak, I can't drag over there. I get snagged up way too often. Um, no, I will be on the Potomac River in the kayak on Saturday, Saturday night. On Saturday night. Keep them likes coming, y'all. Flood them likes up. Flood them likes up, y'all. We waiting on a takedown. Keep tapping the ride till it goes down. We need a ride to go down. We need a ride to go down. We had 10 fish. Hey, Pacific Coast with the hanging lights. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you, man. I make dragon weights also. Once my hands heal, I get it packaged out. All right, wait for Bob. Appreciate you. Rags with the confetti. You fishing the Anacosti Saturday. Good luck. Good luck on the Anna. Yeah, I'll be um, I'll be out on the Potomac River Saturday. Um, we using carp and eel for bait. We got carp on on ride three, ride two and ride one. We got eel on. Two and one, we got eel on. Catch some pigs for us. Checking in from Ohio. That's what we trying to do. Doobie, we got ten fish on the bank so far. We waiting on another takedown. It has been a while. It's been about 20 minutes. I think I should be freshen up and recast that second bait too. Nah, that got eel. I ain't worried about that. That joke is good. What reels? I got Abu Garcia, Catfish Specials, and Pen Squall 20s out there. Well, one's a Catfish Special, one's a Pro Rocket, and the other one is a Pen Squall 20. AB, what's up, champ? Appreciate you popping in, man. Florida in the house. What's going on? Casey Young from Glen Burnie. Appreciate you, champ. Abu 7000. Yeah, I have a 7000 too. I'm waiting on um I'm waiting on the worm gear to come in. It has to be replaced. It's on back order. I ordered it like a month ago and it was on back order. I need to check and see what's up with that. Uh, see if it's been shipped yet. Cause I need that. I need that, and I need my paw for my uh, my pen squall. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, we got a slack bite. We got a slack bite. This is stupid. Hopefully come back for it, y'all. Hopefully come back for it. The Joker hit it and slacked it up. You like this hoodie right here? You can go to catfishclothing.com and you can order one. Use code HAS20, get your 20% off. Nah, I've never went deep sea fishing. I do want to go deep sea fishing. I've never been. I've been fishing in the Chesapeake Bay, but not deep sea. Potomac River is the best river, absolutely. I always got to rock with the hometown, man. I love the Potomac River. I love the Chesapeake Bay River system, man. There's so many good rivers off the Chesapeake Bay River system. The James River is my next favorite river to go fish. Potomac is definitely, of course, number one. Singing has waiting on a takedown. Let's go. I see people from all over using that song on their fishing vids. Absolutely, Cincinnati Cat. Man, I appreciate all the support that I've been getting with my music. 
Um, those of you that don't know, I do make music too as well. I put it up on my TikTok videos and on my YouTube videos. Um, if you search Has Life on any platform, I got two singles out, Gone Fishing and Takedown. And they pop up on your on your um on your ticky talkies too. When you make a ticky talky. But has who has the biggest? That would be um Lake Gaston and Kerr Lake. They got the biggest. But I'm a river guy, man. I love the rivers, but I will be down there to go fish Lake Gaston and Kerr Lake this spring and summer. Hopefully I can get down there in May or June. When is the catfish spawn down there? The dock. The dock does have that 92. The dock does have that 92. When is the spawn? Because I don't want to come during the spawn. So I may have to come down there after the spawn. Because in May, I want to just go on a flathead uh, binge. I want to go on a flathead binge. for the After these tournaments, I just want to go target flatheads. It's a blast, even if it's just for Halibut. Yeah, Lake Gaston, North Carolina, and Lake uh, Kerr Lake in Virginia. Yeah, I fish for bass. I fish for bass, but not often. Not often. Most of the time, I'm out here on the river for these catfish. Tom says June. So the spawn is June. Then I don't want to come in June. Don't want to come in June. So, yeah, maybe July or August will come out there. Rod 1 next. Rod 1, dig it tapped. Rod 1 just got hit about five minutes ago. Hopefully, it comes back for it. Oh. Here we go. There we go. Yo. This little fish did that good takedown, y'all. It's not a bad one, but it, it ain't that big. I still take them though, fish number 11. Fish number 11. There we go. About another four or five pounder. This has been our copycat fish just copy and paste and we caught about eight of these size right here all day today without taking fish number 11 on the bank let's go a big boy soon come soon come I know a big boy's gonna come lurking through here. He's overdue for it. One of these monster catfish gonna come through here, swimming all slow, do a monster slow takedown, and we gonna hook up and we'll take him on a ride.
right. Let's go. We are on the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. You want to see what my leader setup looks like here? I got one laying right here. Here we go. Got a three-way swivel. One goes to my main line right here. The other one goes to a clip and the other one goes to my leader line, which is 80 pounds Andes. Then we have a spook to a circle hook. Boom, just like that. Circle hook, spook, 80 pound leader, three-way swivel with a clip. Round one, already? I just put that sucker out there. But yeah, that's what I use 99% of the time. Same setup, same rig. With a float and a rattle. Nah, I'm not related to Ernie. That's the broski though. That is the broski. Uh, the clip is for the lead. You clip your lead right on here. I like my lead to be, um, some people, they have their lead on another um, leader line, like 20 pound leader line. I like my lead just to be clipped right here. Interchangeable too. You can go from a five ounce, eight ounce, dragon weight, very versatile. Yeah, we got 11 so far. We got 11 so far. We got eel on ride one and two, and we got carp on ride number three. Bro, if we're going to fish late Gaston, go late fall, early winter. Nah, never been snagging. Never been snagging. Uh, these are, I believe they're all medium heavies. I do have one medium action. I'm not sure if it is out there or not, but I do have uh, medium heavies, pretty much all of them. Rob Fox, what's going on, champ? There is one medium action, Rob, but I don't remember what reel I have it on. That's why it's fun fishing catfish the way the pool they make you feel like it's huge. Absolutely. Absolutely. Biggest cat you've caught. The biggest one I've caught today is nine pounds. The biggest one I've ever caught is 62. And the biggest one I've caught this year is 57 pounds, which I caught a few weekends ago. I just caught a 45 pound in the kayak on Thursday night. I posted that video up on the Tiki Taki and it's already got like 370, maybe 380,000 views right now. That joint blew up. Dan says, hi, appreciate you tuning in, Dan. 31.9 for me caught during the Biggest Loser tournament. Awesome, Yak Shore, that was your PB during the Biggest Loser. Man, you and Bobcat put on a clinic that day. Y'all were catching the big ones. Me and Brian were on the fish, but we couldn't find anything big. The catfish rigs at Walmart? Oh, um, I don't see why not. I've never used them. I don't know what rigs they have, but if you're talking about getting hooks from there and line, yeah, they'll work. Because they got Andy's leader line. And they got circle hooks there. They'll definitely catch fish for you. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we caught over 30 fish. That bite was on fire, but we just couldn't find the big one. They were in there. You know, we were marking them, but all we were all we were just getting was the little buddies. Yeah, I have shad over here for bait too, but the eel and carp have been working so well. I only you put the shot out one time and that was it. I do have some shad over here. Um, I'm from Maryland, but I'm fishing in DC on the Potomac River. Your PB flathead Friday night and your baddies were dead on the scale. Dang. Yeah, my flathead PB is only like six pounds, seven pounds. I didn't weigh it, but that's my estimation. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. I always like to underguess my PB because it makes it easier to beat it for the next time. <laughs> what the heck? I saw I thought I saw something flash. It's the metal leaders with the small beads on both sides of the weights. Oh, you're talking about a high-low rig. Yeah, you can use a high-low rig for catfishing. I wouldn't recommend it, though. 
Robert with the roses. Not the metal leader lit the rigs, cause if you get snagged up, you're gonna lose everything. All right, Steve. Looking forward to it. We got 427 amazing people on the Tiki Taki. 30,000 likes and six shares. Make sure you guys click this share right here. Share this out and keep tapping on them screens. Let's get up to 100,000 likes, y'all. And we got 113 people in the house on the YouTube and 259 thumbs up. Let's get the 300 likes on the, on the YouTube as well. If you aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'm live on the YouTube right now. Go on over there and get a subscribe. Has life on YouTube. Has life on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm using, a Santee Cooper rig. I'm using a Santee Cooper rig. What's going on, Michael? Evan, it's a Santee Cooper rig. Uncle Lou rides. And, um, and Pensquale and Abel Garcia reels. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get snagged up and you'll lose everything because those steel leaders ain't gonna break. If you're gonna, if you're fishing snaggy areas, put your lead on a like a twenty or like a twenty pound leader line, and have your hook on like a eighty pound leader line. So if your lead gets caught up, all you do is lose your lead and you'll get your hook back. But if your hook gets caught up, then yeah, you're just gonna lose everything. Can we get a triple hookup? Let's see. All three of them. Like all three of them. Just double, 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 tap, 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 like them all. Black lights. You can search them on Amazon. It's just some generic 20 watt black lights. I don't know. I find them on Amazon. And they work pretty good. What's going on, Ford Mafia? Yeah, 6500 Rocket and uh, Abu Garcia Catfish Special. 6500. Um, 11 so far on the bank tonight It is much easy to tie your own You can make them the way you want as well Even if you tie a high-low rig Out of mono, it's way more bait. I agree yeah, It's better to tie your own high-low rigs I agree with you on that Ride number three Nah, the rods ain't move. I was just tighten the lines up because the wind is picking up. So it was blue, it was blowing the line a little bit. It's gonna be windy later on tonight, all day tomorrow. It's gonna be like 20 mile an hour winds. I can already feel the wind picking up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Ducked with the hearts, appreciate you, champ. Nah, I don't really trout fish. Not much. What's going on, Uncle Lou? What's up, champ? We got 11 fish on the bank so far, Lou. The biggest is about nine pounds. You know, this is my favorite spot to come in the rain. If it's raining, there's two places I'm at, either home or at this spot catfishing. And today we was able to come out here and go fishing. Um, How long, man? I don't know, probably till like 1 a.m. I'll be out here fishing. Maybe longer if the bike picks up and it gets hot. We'll see. But yeah, probably till about 1 a.m. Does the weight formula only work for blue cats? Uh, Chiefs Kingdom? Uh, that is a great question. I believe that's just a blue cat formula. It's not going to be the same across all catfish because flatheads carry their weight differently. But I mean, it'll still probably get you in a good estimation. But yeah, that's what I use for blue catfish because that's all I catch. Um, the bite is decent. We got 11 fish so far tonight. It started off very hot, 
and now we're getting to fish about every 20 minutes the 15 20 minute range the fish around uh right through here they come through in waves they don't stack up here they just move through here we got up river that way we got down river that way and it's only about 300 yards wide across the river so to go between up and down river they got to come through here so we just wait for them to come and when I come here during rainstorms, cause that's when the fish get active and get to moving and get to traveling through here. Don't really have much luck any other time. Um, my last catch was about 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. So we're about due for another bite. And we got a uh, carp and eel for bait. Eel on rods one and two and carp on rod number three. Come on, sweet doggy. It's about time for a big fish. I know we're gonna get one tonight. I got a feeling, I have a feeling. I haven't had to use the net yet. I just been boat flipping all the fish. Pacific Coast with the roses. Appreciate you champ. Even a nine pounder, I just went over there and grabbed the leading line and pulled him up. I haven't had to break the net out yet. 20 on ride two. Take down. I'm waiting on the take down. Yes, sir, Uncle Lou. So far, the hot ride has been, of course, the down river ride, which is ride number one. Ride number one. And that, that of course, has the eel head. That's the one that's caught the most fish so far. Yeah, I stay out that late. It's not that late. I don't get up early. I don't have to get up early for work. I just get up early for my kids. So I stay out late. I like catfishing, especially, you know, that we're going into the spring and summertime and it gets super hot out. And one thing that the phones don't agree with is the heat. I go out late. I go out when the sun goes down and stay out until one, two, three in the morning. And the rides look better at nighttime with this glowing. These Uncle Lou rides right here are amazing. Look at that glow right there. It's a lot better show right there with the, with the rods going. No, nah, I don't use ghost shrimp. I don't use shrimp unless I'm unless I'm uh, saltwater fishing, fishing on the bay. The Glizzy tournament is May seventh, May seventh from nine a.m. to two p.m. on my YouTube channel Has Life on YouTube. Wintertime blue fishing is tough, but you catch big fish you catch big fish then the bite is tough it's slow shout out to them uncle lou rods absolutely robert definitely shout out to them uncle lou rods randy g's with the flames appreciate you champ what's going on anthony yeah i've checked out mad cats rods i have a few of them may 28th is the meet and greet 10 a.m 10 a.m may 28th is the meet and greet when you got that glow does anyone know if green top and richmond sells eel i'm not sure i don't know but i do know you can get eel in richmond stan would be the guy to ask where you can get a uh, eel at in richmond he says they got a real cheap price too like you can get them for like three or four dollars something real cheap How many rods do I have? I don't know. Probably over 30. I don't know exactly. I never counted them all. A lot of them. Nah, no kayak today because of the rain. We had rain. Um, it was raining until about 9 o'clock. So I'll bank fished it today. I've been out here since about eight. Where can you order these rods at? You gotta go message Uncle Lou on Facebook. Uncle Lou, get ready for the Twitter fingers, Uncle Lou. Um, he has medium light action rods in stock right now and bumping rods. Um, but yeah, you can go and uh, search him on Facebook, Uncle Lou, and send him a message over there. He'll get back to you tomorrow. You know, this is after business hours, so he's not going to respond to you tonight. Uh, I buy them, uh, Mike Love Speed, but you can catch them here. 
I haven't started trapping for him yet, but I will. I definitely will soon. Soon come. Soon come. I'm gonna trap for these niggas. Very soon. I'm gonna get the whole Potomac River crew together and we all gonna start trapping for these eels together. Yes, sir. Mark, still out here. I plan on being out here till at least 1 a.m. Um, count is 11. We got 11 on the bank tonight so far. 11 on the bank tonight. Yeah, so what time is it right now? 11.51? Yes, I got about another hour out here. What's going on, Brooks Pierce? Just finished installing the garments. Uh-oh. It's about to be a game changer out there. Uncle Lou got the garments on the boat. I love the garments, Fish Finder. I got uh, one of them on the kayak. I have a Lowrance on the boat, but I like the Garmin better. I'm in, a, in D.C., the nation's capital. In one minute? All right, deal. We're about to catch one. On ride one, this ride going to catch the next fish. Ride one's going to catch the next fish. Good morning from Germany. Good evening from D.C. Uncle Lou's no bass rod. Seven foot six uh, medium lights is what he has in stock right now. No bass rods, though. Ride two or, or ride three? I'm I'm saying ride one. I think ride one. That's the hot ride. But ride three been a sleeper, though. We could catch one on ride three. But ride one been catching all the fish. So I think we're going to get on ride one again. Ride two just been like out there like, what the fish snatcher? <laughs> Puerto Rico, South Africa in the house. Ride number two. Tap on the ride that you think is going down. Kick your bass with the weights. Car and Stewart with the Tiki Takis. Appreciate y'all, champ. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate the love. Callie's in the house. Big fish energy. I'm thinking we catching the big one. Whichever ride goes down, it's going to be a big one. Kick your bass with the April calendar. Number two gonna be a six pounder. Man, we need a 20. We need a 20. We need a sweet doggy. We need a sweet doggy tonight. Stuart with the Tiki Takis and they still climbing. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. So we got a hit. I ain't see it. Live scope, live scope is a game changer. I need to put that sucker on the kayak on my Garmin. Oh, 30 or bigger. I'll go with that even better. Let's get a 60. Let's put a 60 on the bank tonight. Let's get my second 60 pound class fish tonight. Biggest one today is nine pounds. And my PB is 62. 62 is my is my pb blue cat which hopefully we can break this year ride one is catching the big doggy dog of the entire night i hope so ride one we counting on you ride one we are counting on you we are counting on you what time is it right now let me see what time is it at midnight i'm gonna refreshing up ride one and two's baits at midnight so we're going to give them five, six more minutes, and then we're going to freshen up them baits and recast them suckers out. Let's see a 36-pound striper give Ernie something to chase again. <laughs> I would love to catch a striper peel and drag right about now. I'd definitely love to catch me a striper. I don't know if they come up. The, well, they yeah, they should be up this far chasing them bait up river. So you never know. We may find one. Let's go. 63 pounder. That'd be a new PB tonight. We catch a 63 pound hog. I 
Um, I use uh, catfish sumo hooks. Hangry hooks. I got them here somewhere. Here we go. And these are what I use right here. The catfish sumo hangry hooks. Is this backwards for you guys? You may have to switch it. It looks the same way on, on, my, on my screen right here, but it may be backwards for you guys. I don't know. Um, it's just the way that the pole is in the ground. Jacob, what's up, champ? What's going on, man? Appreciate you popping in. Brooke Pierce, drop kick that thumbs up if you haven't already done so on the YouTube. Drop kick it. Uh, I've been out since 8 o'clock. What's going on, Duggan? Is it Dugan? Appreciate you tuning in, champ. Yeah, five in four minutes. I'm refreshing the beta. I not much. I guess I will have. Oh, you thought about it, Jacob? <laughs> hey, you had me dying last night. We said that. <laughs> I guess you slept on it overnight. Yeah, we got eleven blue cats so far in the bank. The biggest is uh, nine pounds. And um, the rods are Abu, I'm sorry, the rods are Uncle Luz and the reels are Abu Garcia and um, Pen Squalls. I do have some shad. I'm going to throw some out there when I rebate. I'm going to throw some shad out when I rebate. Not tomorrow. I won't be fishing again till maybe Friday morning, but definitely Saturday I'll be out fishing again. Definitely Saturday. That's when uh, I have a tournament. I'll be live on on my YouTube channel, Has Life on YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe, hook set. We have a tournament going on over there, a 3v3 tournament. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. It's uh, mi almost midnight. Almost midnight. So let me go ahead and start freshening up these baits. This is what's going on round one. Got a fresh piece of eel about to go out there on round number one. A nice fresh bloody piece of eel.
Already getting hit on round one. Got no bait on ride three. Fishing on um, credit. All right, I'm gonna put eel. I got uh, rod one got eel, rod two got shag head, and rod three is about to have another piece of eel. It did have carp on it, but I'm gonna put a piece of eel out there this time. Alright. We back in action. Round one already got hit when we freshened that bait up. That joker hit it and quit it. 11 fish so far on the bank, y'all. We got 11 of them. The biggest is nine pounds. 271 thumbs up on YouTube. Don't know what's going on, but the freaking eels are taking over the river. Caught three more tonight. They apparently love chicken. Danny Stone, dry ice. Put them on dry ice and send them up here, buddy. Send them on up here. I'll take them off your hands if you don't like the eel. Use them as bait, man. Those, that's the best bait to use. Um, I use a uh, 60 amp hour lithium battery and a a 500 watt converter to power my backlights. Yeah, there's people in the background. I'm here in downtown Georgetown. There's people that walk all through here, all types of wee hours. Restaurants over here. You got the boat docks come, the boats come up here and they're multi million dollar yachts and, and go out to eat and stuff. It's a fancy place down here. But I only come down here when it's raining, when it's bad weather. The battery's not that big. It's probably like the size of a like a car battery, but a lot but lighter. A lot lighter. The size of a small car battery. What size are them hooks? Ten out circle hooks. Ten outs. 10 Ots, Georgetown Go Hoyas. You already know. Where's the Baltimore Raven Stadium? In Baltimore? 
I'm in DC. I'm in DC. It's about an hour from here. Uh, Georgetown. Nah, it's not just for boats. Anybody can walk up here. But it's right on the river, so boats can pull up. How come? Cause I'm not hungry. I I had a sandwich. I made a sandwich. When I ate earlier. That's the Kennedy Center right here in the backdrop. Kennedy Center right there in the backdrop with the uh, Ukraine flag colors. Catfish regulators with the Tiki Takis. Appreciate you, champ. Make sure you guys go check out Catfish Regulators right here. Give them a follow. Also, his YouTube channel, too, as well, man. Go check him out. Help him get over that hump, that 500. All right, Uncle Lou. Appreciate you popping in, champ. You have a good night. Awesome, man. That's great. All right, Mark. Chiefs Kingdom with the weights. We're going to need those weights for this 35 pounder we're going to have to pick up. We're going to need them. Big boy coming through. Big boy coming through. It's all right, Jacob. That's why I'm live on both of them. We got the YouTube going on. We've been over here live on the YouTube since 8 o'clock. We got Eel. On rise one and rise three, and we got Chathead on ride number two. Texas boy with the hater blockers. Appreciate you, champ. Uber Eats really has changed the game. Got some takeout to keep to watch the head show. Appreciate your vibes. Has if you snag a yellow and orange top of a ride, I know whose it is. <laughs> Big facts. That this was right here at this spot. The Happy Gilmore spot almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. Awesome, man. Brian Lewis with the GGs. Chris fishing with the paper crane. What? I thought we had a hit on ride one. Ride one's catching the next fish, y'all. I know it. I almost can guarantee it is coming, is catching the next fish. Is construction completed by the Kennedy Center so you can fish near it? No, it is not. Construction takes place pretty much from Thompson's Boathouse all the way down, and you can't fish for like a freaking mile stretch of the river. That's some prime good bank section, bank fishing section. Free roller coaster rides. We're almost at low tide, y'all. I think low tide is like now. I don't have both my phones are live, so I can't really check them. But I know somewhere, somewhere around midnight, a little after midnight. There we go. I told you guys. I told you. I told you. I told you about when we go get it. Come on. Take two. Take number two. <laughs> Let's 
take number two. I feel it, y'all. Ride number one. Ride number one. I just hit a fish on the head. That ride about to go down. We got 11 fish so far. You need to hold ride one in your hand now, nah, man. We're going we to let the ride do what the ride do. Hey, we're going to let the ride do. Tied with the mic drop. Keep tapping, guys. Ride one, ride two, ride three. Question is, are you a real fisherman if you fish for catfish? Like, bro, they so easy to get. Yes, sir. Absolutely. What's the difference? What makes a real fisherman catching fish? But live streaming is the way to go when you're fishing for catfish. You can't bass fish for in live stream. You can't do anything where you got to do a bunch of casts and, and do live. It ain't going to work. The, the, the show was going to be booty cheeks. This is the best thing you can do for live fishing. Cast them out, enjoy the show, and sit back and relax. How late you normally stay out there? What's going on, Hayden? Uh, I'll be out here till about, probably till, till, probably till about 1 a.m. tonight. Uh, big facts, man. We ain't worried about it. We ain't worried about it. It is 12.14 a.m. 12.14 a.m. Right now. So we probably go to about midnight. I mean, sorry, not midnight. To about 1 a.m. About 45 more minutes. Ride two. Ride one. I still think ride one. My money's on ride one. That ride's been the hot ride. I will have Mac on the bank show Friday. I'll be tuning in, Smoke. I will be tuning in. What's going on, Pork Chop? Appreciate you popping in, champ. Pork Chop is going to be in the Glizzy Masters. Can't wait. The water temp is in the 50s like 55 between like 54 and 56 degrees 55 56 we waiting on a sweet doggy big fish energy on ride number one coming I'm telling you ride one is gonna catch a sweet doggy that so far has been a little dink taps the tournament is may 7th so i have a tournament April 30th on my channel um, that I am in. So make sure you guys follow Has Life on YouTube. It's going to be a great tournament. And then we got the Glizzy Masters May 7th, which I'm hosting on my channel. And that is at uh, the Glizzy Masters May 7th is um, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the uh, No Script vs. Bait Shop is August 30th, Saturday from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. on my YouTube channel. You and Ernie got me back into fishing after 10 years. Appreciate you, Aiden, man. That's what we're here to do, man. Spread positive vibes, motivate, get people excited about fishing because I have a great time out here fishing, man. Whether we catching the sweet doggies or we catching the stinky dinkies, the dinky doodahs, whatever. We have fun catching them all. Krista, what's going on? Appreciate you popping in. Appreciate you popping in. The good luck gritty. Y'all want to see the good luck gritty? We need a good luck gritty. We need a 50 gritty. If we do the gritty, we better catch a 50 tonight, man. We need a 50 gritty. We need a 50 pound fish. You fishing solo or a team during the tournament? It's a team. It's gonna be me, Brian B, and two stands versus um, Freddie Outdoors, Chad, and J Dog. No script versus the bait shop. Appreciate the love from Texas. It's a um, it's a spook. Just sent 500 likes. Appreciate you, champ. 
Let's get to 100,000 likes. That's when we're going to catch the 50. When we hit them 100,000 likes. Keep tapping them rods till it goes down. Keep tapping them rods. Jay the God say, here, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Three or four times a week again. Nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Hey. What are you wearing? Round one. Round one gonna get him. That was a stinky dinky though, y'all. That was a stinky dinky. Don't worry. Soon come, big one. That was a stinky dinky bite. We ain't want him. We ain't want him. We did not want him. What's going on, Arlene Greer? Nah, the base still there. It's an eel. That eel's tough skin, very tough skin. That bait ain't going nowhere. Yeah. The middle rod should send it closer to the left rod since that's where we're getting all the action at. But I'm gonna leave it out there because we may catch something else other than a uh, catfish with that one. Noel with the roses. Appreciate the love has. I might need a new co-host. Who's going to be your new co-host, man? Where is the Glizzy Tournament host of that? It's going to be on my channel, Has Life. It's going to be on my channel. Appreciate you, man, with the nice haircut. Go get the fish. 504 amazing people in the house. Greedy at 100K. Let's get it. We almost there, y'all. And a big fish. We about to get the gritty fitty at, at 100K on round number one, like I've been saying. Nah, no strawberry jello chicken. That's like a, I use that during like the spawn season when the bite gets tough. I throw out the strawberry jello chicken. 100,000 likes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. 100,000 likes. Hey, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Stay down. Oh, man. They won't mess with me. Don't worry. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. 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 I'm loving the energy. I appreciate the likes, y'all. I appreciate the likes. Ride number one about to get the big fish. Soon come. Trust and believe. Where do you sign up? Um, I already have the roster filled, but you can send me an email at haslifefishing.gmail.com and I can push it down for alternative. Alternative. Regulators with the duck. Duck, duck, goose. That's what the that's what the fish are playing right now with my rods. They playing duck, duck, goose with the baits. They keep hitting rod one. They keep tapping round one. Um, the rattles are spooks. They are spooks. They're floats. Float your beta ball from bottom. Right here. Who is in the tournament? You got Ernie the Hall Snatcher. You got Mac Fishing. You got, uh, you got catfishing Curtis. You got um, no real loss. You have um, Snake River Slayer. You have uh, Pork Chop. You have um, Hooked on Catfish. And um, there's one other channel. I don't know. I have it on. I have it on this phone. I have all the eight contestants on there. If you go look at my my live from Saturday. Or uh, Sunday night, I have all the channels listed in the description. Mm. 
Nah, he's not in it. How do the cats not sting you? You, you got to hold them the right way. What I do is I hold. I'll show you guys when I catch the next fish, if it's a little buddy. Smoke, you want in on it? Smoke, I did not know you want in on it. You ain't let me know. You ain't send me no email. But there may, I, I'll have you down as the first alternate if somebody back out. I'm going to reach out to everybody again. Oh, bank to the table. That's the other guy, bank to the table. But I'm going to reach out to everybody and double check with them and make sure. All right, I'm reaching out to everybody and double checking. So I'm going to do that this week. So by Friday, Saturday, I'll make sure I got everybody lined up, make sure everybody's good to go. But yeah, what you do is you just hold them behind the dorsal fence so they don't, so they don't spine you all the little buddies. And the big buddies, you know, I just grip them by the mouth. Nah, no fish in the last 20 minutes, Yak. We are due. We are due. Oh, there we go. 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 I'm not giving them no chance to get no snack. No chance to get no snack. Come on over here, buddy. Come on over here, buddy. Fish on! Let's go! I told you, round number one was going to get the fish. This jogger was swimming fast. And it's not a slack. Fish number 12 on the bank. Let's go. And this is what I was saying. This is how you hold them. Hold them like this so that they don't spine you. Hakeem with the hater blockers. Let's go. Let's go. Fish number 12. About another four pounder. Four to five pounds. I literally caught like 10 of these buddies today. And then like a little dinky and then we caught a nine pounder. But there we go. Fish number 12 on the bank. Ride number one, the hot rod, the hot rod, let's go. Let's let them go, get it right back out there so we can get another fish.
Alright. We're waiting on another takedown. I'm still on rod number one again. 123,000 likes, 480 amazing people in the house. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Rod three is good. Rod three is good. Nah, Rod three got bait. It has eel on there. That bait's still on there. Oh, uh, March 4th? Really? Smoke? Oh, man. All right, well, I'm going to have to do some shifting then. My bad, my bad, and my bad. My busy schedule, I didn't overlook that one, Smoke. You was probably like one of the first ones to send the email then. I don't think I went back that far. All right, I got you, Smoke. I got you. Kilo Outdoors. What's up, champ? Yeah. Nah, trust me, guys. Ride 3 still got bait. I know you guys telling me that it got hit. And it went down. And it was rocking. But it's got eel on there. And the bait is still there. Catfish Regulators with the confetti appreciate you man you going live anymore this week yeah i'll be live saturday maybe friday morning we'll see but definitely be live saturday for the tournament um uh, but yeah smoke i'm gonna get everything situated and uh you know figured out and make sure everything is good so i'll definitely get with you I'll, i'm gonna take care of that tomorrow i'm gonna start sending out messages We got 127,000 likes and 490 amazing people over here on the Tiki Taki. 102 people, 282 thumbs up on the YouTube. Kane samples in the house. If you haven't done so already, drop kick that thumbs up on YouTube. Start fishing with eel, man. I'm telling you, eel is the truth. That eel skin is rubbery and super tough. Catfish regulators with the boxing gloves. Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern on my channel, Has Life, on YouTube, not on TikTok. I'll be on YouTube because we will be doing, um, we'll be streaming on StreamYard and it's going to have, um, we're going to have eight different people up there on panel fishing together and, and co-hosting. <laughs> I know, man. Nah, it's just Rod 1 is down river. That's why it's getting more action. Rod 1 always gets more action at the spot because it's down river. But I'm going to keep them, you know, in, in the in the same spots that they're in. Just because we may catch a uh, big fish over here lurking, uh, coming down river. And we may catch one to stay uh, way out in the channel. But yeah, Rod 1 is the hot rod. They both got, Rod 1 and Rod 3 got you. And Rod 2 got that, that shit, the um, shad head. Appreciate all the new followers. Yeah, this one right here. It's about to go down again. It's definitely about to go down again. Hakeem with the galaxy. Appreciate the love, champ. Appreciate the love, man. Make sure you guys check out them supporters right there, man. Top two supporters. Show them some love. Regulators and Hakeem. Show them guys some love, guys. Give them some followers. Two? Oh, I want two to go down. That's the shad head. Shad head got it. That got a bigger bait on it. Appreciate the speakers, champ. Ishmael with the GGs. I'm going to bring it right three, though, and I'm going to recast it and put it in a different spot. 632 amazing people. Let's go. put it further up river. Further up. But for those of you that want to see, this definitely has the bait still on.
right here, this bait is very hard. It's almost dang near impossible to come off the hook. It will not. Like, when I go take it off the hook, it's hard to take off the hook. Every time. Alright, I'm gonna send this rod further up. All right. Let's go. Fish number 13. We waiting on lucky number 13 tonight. 136,000 likes. Let's go. Run it up, guys. It's Now, this is the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. I show up to chat and has gets bit. Watch. Adam in the house. What's going on, Adam? Rod one has been the hot rod, but tap a rod and pick a rod till it goes down. Tap a rod, tap a rod, tap a rod. We got Eel on rod one and rod three, and we got Shad on rod two. One and three, and Shad on rod two. Waiting on the next takedown. Lucky number 13. Lucky number 13. Biggest flat I ever caught was like six pounds. Uh, Willow, what's going on, Willow? The bite is good. 13 fish so far tonight. Been out here since 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. I put three way up river. I hope there's a big boy lurking in the shallows. It's not, well, in the shallower uh, water. Looking for something to eat. Looking for something to eat. But watch Rod 2 get smashed. Rod 2 has been out there chilling. Rod 2 been out there taking a break. Taking a break. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. He's definitely a nice guy. I'm um, in D.C. on the Potomac River. Downtown D.C. Right here is the Kennedy Center right behind me. Lit up with the Ukraine colors. Chucky, what's going on, Chucky? Is Annette in the house? Fishing Dream. George is in the house, just woke up, 536. He might be your co-host? Okay. Jacob is on the road right now, man. He's looking for co-hosts and everything. You need some beers? Nah, I'm good. I got me some water right here, man. I got me some water. Some high-quality Fiji water right here. <laughs> We got that good Fiji water. Now, my PB is 62. My personal best catfish is 62 pounds. All the new people in the house, make sure you guys go on over to Habs Life on YouTube. I'm live on my YouTube channel right now too as well. Go give a subscribe. Go drop kick that thumbs up over there if you're loving this content. And make sure you hit the follow button too. Links and D Mac with the gifts. Appreciate you, champ. We got Eel and Shad right now out there, but I got carp too as well. But I don't have any carp out there right now. We got Eel and Shad. Eel and Shad. Why drink expensive Fiji water when you get the best? in the east potomac river nah buddy i'm good i'm not trying to glow like these rods right here drinking this potomac river water nah buddy little buddy's mom with the roses we got uncle lou rods we got pen swall and apple garcia reels for the setup medium heavy and uh action rods seven foot sixes um i'm streaming this one right here is a what's this the samsung ultra 21 and then over here i got an iphone 12 
12 Pro Max. Six pounds, Jacob. You gotta beat that. You gotta get out there on that water. Links with the chicken leg. Big fish energy. Let's go. Let's go. Big fish energy. It's 1238. It is 1238 right now. Alright, Links. Appreciate you popping in. I don't fish for channel catfish often. We don't have big ones here on the Potomac River. You got to go out to the bay to really get big. Um, really get big ones. Uh, what's the question? Serious question. Are catfish anglers considered athletes? Um, I mean, I don't know. It's, do you consider fishing, period, to be an athlete? I mean, in a technical standpoint, yeah, because you're competing in a sport, but... I don't, there we go. Y2 just got, just got tapped. Y2, go down. Come on, come on, Y2. Come on, Y2. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Come on. That joker dropped it by the time I got over there. Hopefully he come back for it. Hopefully he comes back for it. <coughs> Thank you for popping in, Hunter. Uncle Steve with the 499. Tiki Taki sent me. <laughs> What's going on, Uncle Steve? Yeah, I have a tent out here. Catfish regulators with the crown. Because I was fishing in the rain earlier. It was raining. But it's since have stopped. It has since stopped raining. Oh, man. There are a lot of dynamic moves required in catfishing, casting, and fighting. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of fishing, uh, you know, there's there's dynamic moves. Definitely, like out of the kayak, man, you gotta be able to back cast, side cast, you know, do all types of crazy stuff in small quarters while sitting down. It definitely, and you know, it's a lot of upper body strength because you're only fighting the fish with your top half. <sighs> Three got smash. Sheesh, I missed it. Yeah, I miss it. Let's hope he comes back for it. Catfish regulators with the mic drop. <coughs> oh, man. I felt like I got to swallow the net. Nah, bait is good, y'all. I got eel out there, trust me. Bait is Gucci. So here's my take on it. Yes, athletes, but athletic. You know, I mean, yeah, there's gonna be some af athletic people, but athletic is like, you know, topper echelon. I'll say, yeah, definitely athletes for sure. You're competing in the sport, but. And it does require skill. Circle hooks. They set themselves. So we just wait for the next catfish to come along and swallow my hook. Has life forever. Appreciate you, champ. Fishing is the biggest single sport in the world, and football is the biggest team sport in the world. I would agree with you on that one. I would, anybody can fish. It's definitely... 
Set the hook like Ernie and rip his lips off. <laughs> Has, have you used Nocturnal Nation hooks? Yes. I do have some Nocturnal Nation hooks. I'm not using them right now. Right now I'm using um Catfish Sumo hooks. But I do have those uh, pig stickers. I like those pig stickers. I mean, fish well is, that's to, you know, but everybody can, you can go out and throw a line out, but can you do it well is the question. Yeah, circle hooks. Circle hooks is what I'm using. Yeah, I definitely catch stuff out in the catfish. Oh, rod number three is slapping me. Something's over here playing with it. We got the dinks rolling in. My number three is getting hit. He dropped it. He dropped it. This joker swallowed the whole head. Little buddy, he done knocked it off too. It's gone. Here we go. Another cookie cutter size, y'all. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, these jokers is playing games with me right now, y'all. They playing games. They hitting the rods and dropping the bait. Making me run, making me work. This is where the athletic part comes in. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fish number 13, y'all. Yes, this is a blue cat. About another four pounder, five pounder. Fish number 13. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fish number 13 on the bank. All right, let's get some fresh bait out there. Let's get some fresh bait. Ride number two, the wild card ride, caught the next fish. There goes ride number one, getting hit again. Ride number one, getting hit again, y'all. Check it out. Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on ride number one. It's about to go down.
There it goes. There it goes. But he dropped it again. He dropped it again. That's a little funny. That's a little funny. Missing the bait. This one was snagged up. Let me check and make sure that the hook isn't bent on it. Hook isn't bent, hook is good to go. Let's go ahead and throw this back out there. This one getting hit. Got all the lines, recast it out there, and we just hit three catfish on the head. We're waiting on fish number 14 to come in the house. The rattles float my bait up off the of bottom. They float my bait up off the of bottom. And also, it will agitate the catfish too, make it bite if it's not hungry. And let's see here. I live in the Matrix, the Twilight Zone. 100 people in the house on the YouTube. And we got 1.1K people on the Tinky Taki. Fishermen with the roses. Appreciate y'all, man. We are out here on the Potomac River in Washington, D.C., downtown Washington, D.C. Right behind me is the Kennedy Center, lit up representing the Ukraine flag, showing support. Papa Cap with the roses. Frank Lamprin, what's going on, champ? Appreciate you popping in. Appreciate all the live guys. We got 13 fish already. 
13 blue catfish. Crawl dad with the roses. Wash burn with the boxing gloves. Pick a rod and tap it, guys, until it goes down. Keep tapping that rod till it goes down. Rod number one has been a hot rod. Rod number one has caught our most fish. But we've been getting bites. They've been playing musical chairs with us lately. Then all the rods have been getting bites. All the rods have been getting bites. We almost had 300 thumbs up on the YouTube. If you guys are loving this content, make sure you guys click that follow button up there and go and go subscribe to the YouTube channel because I go live over there pretty regularly and drop and drop some dope content for you guys. If you guys love my short clips and my short videos, you're gonna love the long videos too as well. The whole story and everything behind it. Make sure you guys subscribe. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, we're doing our next giveaway over there on my YouTube channel. You just have to be subscribed to the YouTube channel and turn that notification bell on. Because it's going to be a random pop-up live. Catfish Regulators with the duck. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you. Nah, we are using, yeah, YouTube channels has life on YouTube. Has life on YouTube. Have a good one. All right, Adam, appreciate you tuning in, champ. Has life on YouTube. I'm Jess with the footballs. Appreciate you, champ. Oh, uh, yeah, I do my lives and I post up a lot of content over there on YouTube. A lot of shorts. But yeah, YouTube is why my main platform. Michael Castro with the Rose. Let's go. Ride two, you calling? I'm calling ride one. I'm gonna put my money on ride one. Ride one, I think. Appreciate the gift, y'all. What's up, Scotty? Uh right now we got it's slack tide right now. Um we this is a tidal section of the river. And low tide is uh right now. So right now the tide is uh slow, it ain't moving too much. Pretty soon it's gonna start coming in and it's gonna go push the tide is gonna push against the current. <sighs> what's going on sensei hey has what's your opinion on the abba garcia 7000s i love them i have one of them i love the abba garcia 7000s they're a, a bulky beefy reel you can put a lot of line on it which i love reels that you can put a lot of line on from the boat and from the kayak because if you get snagged up and you break off and you lose line you don't like an abba garcia if i break off like twice i gotta respool that whole reel but my pen squall and my and, and like an Abu Garcia 7000, I can break off seven, eight, ten times without having to re spool that whole reel. Uh, 13 fish so far tonight. 13 blue cats we caught so far. 13 blue catfish so far tonight. Melane. Melanie, sorry. Melanie with the Tiki Takis. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the follows, guys. Appreciate all the likes. Make sure you guys show love to the top supporters, too, as well. We got Catfish Regulators at number one and Washburn, number two. Robert John, number three. Make sure you guys show them some love. The biggest one I've caught today so far, so, so far tonight, is nine pounds. Nine pounds is my biggest so far tonight, and we have 13 of them. They just... The latest version of I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Appreciate the roses, champ. Come on. I right, thank you. Is it Kakashi? Oh yeah, the seven thousand. Gotcha. Gotcha. They got a new version of it. Nah, these are not Hellcats. These are Uncle Lou rides. Uncle Lou rides. You can search them on Facebook. Uncle Lou, he has a Facebook store. Dominique Hollis with the roses. What's up, champ? Dominique's on the ticket. Talk it now, too. Run it up, champ. Run it up. I don't use chicken livers. I'll use chicken, chicken thighs and stuff like that, but I don't. Uh, chicken breasts. Mainly chicken thighs. That's what I like to use if I'm going to use chicken. If I'm going to use a part of the chicken, but appreciate you, Scott Taylor from the Tiki Taki, but not the, not the, uh, 
not the chicken livers. They fly off the hook way too easy. And they're like channel catfish bait. What's going on, Smoke Donald? Appreciate you tuning in, champ. Now, this is a uh, Berkeley Big Game. Berkeley Big Game Solar Collector. I bet we get 200,000 likes before the next fish. Let's see. How fast can we get to 200,000 likes? Tap them likes, tap them likes. We're fishing for blue catfish tonight. Blue catfish. No boats tonight, Scott. <laughs> there, you see him right there, though. You see him right there. DJ Smoke with the roses. Raw shrimp is a good saltwater. Like, when I go to the bay, I use that. But I don't use it for catfish on the Potomac River. I got eel out there for bait. Right now, we got eel. Clint Westwood with the crown. Appreciate you, champ. I got eel on all the rods because that's what's been giving me my best bite is eel. But I have used um, gizzard shad, caught some fish on that, and carp too as well. But eel is just the best bait. Hakeem with the galaxy. Let's go. Welcome back, Hakeem. Make sure you guys show some love to the top two supporters. Aaron Regulators, Catfish Regulators, and Hakeem. Yeah, I'm sharp. I'm sharp. Hakeem with the hat. Let's go. Keep tapping them rods, guys. Are we going to get another fish first or are we getting 200,000 likes? Was that Riggs with the hat? Appreciate you, champ. What's coming first? What's coming first? What is coming first? Catfish regulators with the balloons. Let's go, guys. Man, we still out here fishing, fishing. The hat has looks good. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, King. How about skipjack for bait? We don't have skipjack on the Potomac River, but we do have herring, and we do have um, the shad run right now, but you can't use that for bait. The um, hickory shad that comes up here looks very similar to a skipjack. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, man. Man, the bite from the right, they've been slacking up this ride the whole time. And we miss it every time. But we got 200,000 likes, so we Doggy, appreciate y'all giving me the 200,000 likes, guys. We just had a hit on ride number three, but... He picked up the bait and he brung it to the bank. So he never turned and swam away. So the circle hook never got to set itself. And he dropped the bait by the time I went over there. Richie, we got 13 fish and the biggest is nine. Nine pounds is the biggest. Hakeem with the game pad. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you. Now, ride one is right here. Ride one, here, ride two, ride three. See? Y'all may see something different than what I'm seeing. Cause it's oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Oh. We got him. Okay. We got him, y'all. number 14 on the bank. Let's go. Hey. 
here we go. This is our biggest one in a while. He's about a six pounder right here. Fish number 14 on the bank. He hit on eel. This joker was running fast at me. He was running fast at me. Was trying to catch up to him. Wasn't sure how big he was, but there we go. Fish number 16, y'all. Fish number 16. Appreciate everybody that just joined in. We got fish number, sorry, fish number 14, about a six pounder. Let's get that bait back out there. Hot rod, rod number one. Hot rod, hot rod. Let's go. How many? Can we get the 20 fish tonight? Can we get the 20 fish tonight? We got 14 of them. We need six more. Nah, it's still there. It has. All these rods got eel out there, so it's an American eel. And them, that eel ain't going nowhere. I just freshened up the bait, but I was fishing with the same piece of eel for three and a half hours and caught like eight fish on it. Vregs with the confetti. And I fished with the same eel for seven hours before and caught 43 fish on it. That eel ain't coming off. Let me tighten up round number one. Five thumbs up away from 300. Let's get to 300. Closest ride just got a hit. Ride number three, yeah, that, yeah. Ride three got a hit. Yeah, I've used I use chicken in the um the main the main time I use chicken is during the spawn. Fish took it. I'm using six ounce cannonballs right now from the bank. Six ounce cannonballs, which I can use like four ounces. I could probably get, go down to three, but. I like six. Nah, I haven't caught any stripers. I haven't caught any. Ernie's the striper slayer. That joker be slaying them stripers, man. He be slaying them jokers. Good morning from Bell G. Appreciate you tuning in from Bell G. You ever use crappie heads? No, I haven't. We're not allowed to use crappie for bait here. Can't use them for bait. What is a it's a 30 pound Berkeley big game. No sheep head here on the Potomac River. What's going on, Ox? Appreciate all the people. We got 231,000 likes. 625 amazing people on the Tiki Taki. 91 amazing people on the YouTube. You versus me? Who versus who? Then we out here waiting on the takedown. Clint Westwood with the hater blockers. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, y'all. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. I might finally need the net. Let's go. Come on. We need a sweet dog. 
That was a sweet doggy takedown, but is he going to be a sweet doggy? Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. That was a good takedown. Best takedown of the night. Best takedown of the night. This fish wasn't going to get dope with But still didn't need the net food. Open up your mouth so I can get the hook out. This one's about another six pound of fish number 15. Man, y'all saw that takedown? This fish did that takedown. That was a medium heavy rod too that he did. I mean, these fish in the springtime, summertime, they get active and they they fight. That was a big takedown for such a little buddy. Six pound blue cat. I'll take him. Fish number 15. y'all we got a fire bite 15 fish so far 15 good ones. appreciate all the new follows guys let's get up to 300,000 likes yes that's the Kennedy Center right there um now I'm gonna be in the kayak for the tournament I will be on my kayak for the tournament there is no limit on how many you can catch or how many you can keep you can catch you can keep as many as you want no size limit. They don't. Re they don't regulate blue catfish. You've had an action-packed night, yes, sir. Yeah, sure. We on fire tonight. What's going on, AK? I'm on the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. Downtown, D.C. On the Potomac River. When you are reeling in the fish, it's very blurry. Fishing experts with the hat. Appreciate you, champ check your uh your settings um check like there's gonna be like three dots check your um check it what's it called check your settings make sure you're on 720 streaming on 720. give me a second y'all i gotta get a, a charger for my other phone Now 
to put this other phone on the charger. And then I'm going to use the bathroom. Go over here, season this water up. Get the blue, big blue coming through. Hopefully. Chief Westwood with the fames. Appreciate you, champ. Hopefully we don't get a monster takedown when I'm using the bathroom. All right, any monster takedowns? Any monster takedowns? Watching from North Carolina, my friend. Them fishing rods are straight heat. Appreciate your champ. About time for a big one. It's about time, y'all. It is about, we are overdue for a big boy. We overdue for big boy. Appreciate all the follows, guys. We had 250,000 likes. Let's get to 300K. Are we going to hit 300K first or are we going to catch our next fish first? Which one? Steve Loke. I thought that was the Karen Center. <laughs> oh, man. Great times, man. Throwbacks, man. Appreciate you tuning in, man. Appreciate you being a member, too, for five months, man. That's amazing, man. Appreciate you, champ. Let me get one of them rides. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Has Life on YouTube. I'm doing a giveaway at 5K. You may win one. You can catch eels where you're at. Fish on Luke. What you doing up in here this late, buddy? It's 1.16 a.m. Isn't it past your bedtime? Don't you have to be waking up early in the morning to catch some fish? Come on, Luke. Last time you popped in in the Tiki Taki live stream, we had a fish on, Luke. Let's see if Luke's going to bring another takedown. We just had the biggest takedown of the night. You've been editing? Oh, I, I get it. I definitely I do my editing at night, too. Once the house is quiet, the kids are bed, that's when I do my editing at nighttime. That's when I get most of my editing done. How much watts are the black lights? They are 20. I have two 20 watts uh, aiming directly up, and then I also have a light bar that aims up underneath to show the line. To show the line for you guys. Nice, Raymond. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. We got 690 amazing people on the Tiki Taki. 256,000 thumbs up and 72 shares. Appreciate y'all for that, man. And 91 people on the YouTube. We had 299 thumbs up. Hey, this is what I need one of you guys to do on the Tiki Taki. Go on over to Has Life on YouTube. Hit the subscribe and hit that thumbs up. We need one more thumbs up to get 300 thumbs up has life on youtube we got 755 i know one of you guys can go on over there and get me the 300 thumbs up the live is going great we got 15 catfish on the bank there we go so we doggy 300 thumbs up 304 thumbs up i appreciate y'all man we done y'all crushing it 306 let's go how many thumbs up can we get on the youtube run them thumbs up up run them up run them up run them up appreciate y'all can i get a yee yee for the one time i follow you on tiktok appreciate you champ how much is your catfish combo um uncle lou real ride is 80 dollars, and then the reels you buy separately but they range from 150 120 to 150 for the reels 
316 thumbs up now. Let's go. Run them up. Run them up. Run them up. Run them up. You was like 300. Appreciate you, TJ Fishing. Appreciate you, champ. What do you look for in signs of a good catfishing spot? Well, you know, I have put a lot of time and effort into uh, knowing where the catfish go. So, for one, you're looking for a spot that you can access. Well, there's certain things you look for. Sometimes you want to fish deep. Sometimes you want to fish shallow. Um, right now, I'm fishing about 30 feet deep, and we have a rainstorm. It was raining today. I know the spot does well during the rain because I fished here a lot of times, plenty of times during the rainstorm. So it's just time on the water, learning that the spot does well during the rainstorm and that the catfish get to moving through here. And that's why I chose this spot today. Um, but most of the time when I'm bank fishing, I like fishing shallows next to deep drop offs. Shallow flats next to deep ledges and waiting for those active hungry fish to come up shallow. 340 likes on the YouTube. Let's go. Let's get the 400 likes, y'all. Let's get the 400 likes. Keep them coming. Come on over. Hit the subscribe and hit the like. Fish on Luke says, okay, I'll watch here. The view is better over here, too, on the, on the YouTube. Me, personally, I like the view on the YouTube better because it's wider. You can see a lot more. Got YouTube down. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate all the follows. Appreciate all the likes. I'm from TikTok. Came over from TikTok. Joined the dark side. Love fishing flats at nights. Absolutely. That is one of my favorite places to fish at, man. Flats at night. Fish those flats. Wait for those active, hungry fish to come to you. The thing about when you're fishing deep, well, I just noticed like on, on the Potomac River, if I'm fishing deep, those fish aren't very active, so they're not going to move a lot. So you have to move a lot. So I'd rather sit in one spot and make the fish come to me. And when they're coming up shallow, they're coming to eat. That's what they're doing. They're looking for food. And that's where I catch most of my fish at. Tinker Bell is in the house. Greetings, Haz, and everyone from me and Fishing the Dream. Appreciate you tuning in, Tinkerbell. Um, right now, I got eel on all the rods, but I do have shad and I do have carp. But eel's working the best, so that's what we're using. That's what we are using. I'm a walker when I fish. Yep, I will. I walk too, but not in the rain. I just pick a spot and sit. But I will move to find fish. I'll go to a lot of spots. If the fish ain't biting, I'm going to move and find them. Yeah, YouTube got the widescreen. You can see a lot better. You can see a lot more. You can see a lot more. What's your best catch? 62 pound blue catfish is my biggest is my biggest fish I've ever caught. I'm off to bed, Has. I'm gonna get in touch with you soon about uh about a podcast. All right, fish on loop. Hit me up, man. I'll definitely uh join you on that. What's going on, Dakota? Has life on YouTube. It's my YouTube channel. Has life on YouTube. Man, I'm gonna. I just said one o'clock. I was gonna pack it over. Now 122, and we still out here fishing, fishing. Like and subscribe, little buddies. Mine with the paper cranes. Appreciate you, champ. How and when? There we go. Ride number three is getting hit again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got him. We got him. We got him. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. What do we have here, man? This fish be fighting good. They be fake big fish right now, man. They be acting like they're big. He's putting up a good fight. Oh, I should have 
should have met it, buddy. <laughs> I tried to boat flip him, y'all, and the hook done came out his mouth right here at the bank. He wasn't hooked good. Oh, well, we're going to half count that fish. 15 and a half. <laughs> he was by about a seven pounder. It froze again. Are we back good? That doesn't say it's bad on my end. All right, cool, we back. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Fine on this phone. This phone's acting weird, and they're both rising. Missed the whole fish. I know, man. We missed him. Shout out to my son, Lil Tone. Appreciate you tuning in, Lil Tone. Shout out to your champ. Um, I started fishing three years ago and documented my journey on YouTube. And that's what got me into fishing. Uh, first, I started off, you know, bass fishing the local ponds and lakes. And then um, in the wintertime, I would come down in DC, you know, in the fall and winter and catfish. And that's what really got me into catfishing. Has, are we gonna see that you versus Chunky round two, Scott Taylor? We gonna set it up, man. We gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. Chunky scared though, man. I don't know if he wanted, I don't know if he's gonna do it. We're gonna get him out there. I'm gonna whoop his butt too. I can't wait. Terry with the roses. Appreciate you, champ. But yeah, we definitely gonna have a Has versus Chunky too. That was a big one, man. We had a lot of people tune in and watch that. That was a big one. How many fish so far? 15 and a half fish so far tonight. We just lost one right at the bank. We we just missed it right at the bank, man. We was like, cause right now we at low tide and I'm like eight feet off the water. And if it's a if it's a fish like under, you know, nine, eight pounds, I'll I'll just boat flip them in. I'll just pull my line and, and get them up here. But my line's strong enough to get them, but he didn't have the hook in his mouth. He wasn't hooked good. Clint Westwood has life on YouTube. Has life on YouTube. Has I can't believe I'm 62 away from 500 on YouTube. Catfish regulators right there, guys. Catfish regulators. Hey, regulators, ask a question. Ask a question, and in the question, put catfish regulators on YouTube. And then I can and I can answer that question. I can pin it up there. And let's get regulators to 500 subscribers tonight. He's only 60 away. Let's help him get his community tab, guys. Let's help him grow. He's our number one top supporter right here. He's been showing a lot of love. Let's help him get there, guys. Let's help him get there. Um, There is no limit for catfish. There is no limit. You can catch and keep as many as you want. Catch and keep as many as you want. And there's no size limit either. But I don't keep them. I'll just toss them back. Yeah, the rods are glowing. They are they come like that from the factory. Uncle Lou rods, fluorescent paint. I'm back. What's going on, Mr. Duggan? We got 15 and a half fish so far. Daniel, what's up, champ? Hustle hard. What's going on, champ? Appreciate you popping in. Rob one gonna get hit soon. Rob one gonna get hit soon. Absolutely. 
Let's get them to a million likes again. What's going on, Harley Johnson? Appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, Duggar. Right here at the bank, I tried to flip him in and the hook came out of his mouth because he wasn't hooked good. He wasn't hooked good. No, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I see it froze again. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what it keep doing. Took your talking being stupid right now. Frozen. No, not again. Not again. Aliens attacking again. <laughs> What's up, Avid? Av is up off the late night. Just subscribe to Catfish Regulators. Appreciate you, man. There you guys go, man. Show some love to the big homie Catfish Regulators. And let's help him hit his goal tonight. Catfish Regulators right there on YouTube. All you got to do is go search it in the bar. Boom. Hit the subscribe button. It's going to take you five seconds. That's it. I'm going to, yeah. Come on over to YouTube, man. Come on over to YouTube. If the Tiki Tock you want to be stupid. Answer on Facebook. I, I, he don't answer on the weekends, but he'll he'll answer during the during the week for you, Monday through Friday. <sighs> Sandman with the hat. Appreciate you, champ. Cre appreciate you. Has I'm bored at work. I know the feeling, Avid. I know the feeling. Come to the dark side. It's 1.30 a.m. here. 1.30 a.m. And we have 15 and a half. We're 16 blue cats. We got 16 blue cats. Let's see if we can't get four more before 2 a.m. 15. Let's see if we can't get uh, five more before 2 a.m. Four more, four more, four more, four more. We got 276,000 likes. Run them likes up, guys. Let's hit 300,000. 300,000 in the next fish. Which one's coming first? Now, I'm not eating them. We just catch and release. Catch and release. Catch and release. Catch and release. Fuzzy Nugs. What's going on, champ? Helping me stay awake driving this semi. <laughs> Keith, appreciate you driving them semis, man. What you drive for a delivery company or something? I know that's a tough job, and I know it's been on super high demand. I know a couple people that do it. Sandman with the hat. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you, man. Let's run it up. Drop Catfish Regulators channel link on the YouTube. Let's get him over the hump. Let's get him over the hump, guys. He almost there. He is almost there. He's almost there. Honda, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, which ride's going down next? Ride one, ride two, or ride three? One, two, or three. Which ride? Which ride? Which ride? Pick a ride. Pick a ride. My money is on ride one, but if ride three is in the hot ride right now. Rod 3 has been the hot rod. Real soon. Nice fuzzy nugs. Sasquatch. Avid fisherman. There was been a Bigfoot sighting down on uh what was it, somewhere recently. I saw it on Facebook. Avid, was that you? <laughs> Avid, did they see you walking through the woods? Have it going up and panel and help has speak to us on the chat. I don't have the stream yet, uh, stream yard. I'm just live on YouTube, so stream yard. Uh, YouTube don't have the capability to do that yet. I went live on my on my YouTube. Isaac Brooks, so we doggy, we waiting, we waiting. Our biggest fish so far has been a nine pounder. Has what's your line and hooks you using? Um, I had Berkeley Big Game 30 pound mono from my main line. Um, Andy 80 pound leader line, and I'm using catfish sumo hooks. 
Catfish in the hooks. Man, it's still tripping over here. I keep seeing it disconnect and connect again on the TikTok. Man, it's tripping. Shout from down under. Appreciate y'all, Zane. Man, all positive vibes over here. All positive vibes. Yeah, the Tiki Taki is tripping, tripping. Uh, Berkeley, 30 pound, 30 pound Berkeley big game for the main line. Um, and 80 pound Andy's leader line. And then I use, um, catfish sumo hooks. Do you have tournaments for catfishing just like they do bass fishing up your way? Yeah, we do. We have catfishing tournaments out here on the Potomac River. I thought that was a boat, but that was just a car driving on the parkway. Appreciate you, Ross. We've caught 16 fish so far tonight. 16 fish so far. Ride one is going down. Let's go. Ride one get big slam. We need a big slam on ride one. I want to double up. Let's get... Let's get like two rides to go down right now. Let's get two of them. Uncle Lou rides. Uncle Lou rides. Glad I came over here from the Tiki Taki then. Yes, sir. What's the biggest catch you caught? Uh, Hitman Bo. 62 pounds is my biggest. The biggest I caught this year is 57. And that was on the James River. And I caught a 55 in the kayak on the Potomac. Uh, a little over a month ago pole three tap the pole tap the ride guys whichever one you think is going to go down we got 393 amazing people in the house hey what happened to the pin why did it go away let me see i don't know that joke gonna disappear on me Yeah, definitely. That's what I tell people. I love the YouTube uh, live stream. The ver the uh was that a was that a hit? Or was that just me turning my head? Nah, I don't use bells. I don't use bells. I don't like bells. I have circle hooks. So they'll set themselves. If we get a fish and it goes down, he gonna be set. He going to be set. He going to be sitting there marinating on the hook, ready for me to go get him. 58.1. 58.1s. <laughs> Bend her on over. Let's go. That's a good PB. 58 pound is a good PB. That's a nice size. That is a nice size. Um, The black lights is... I got them all on Amazon. I just searched black lights on Amazon. We got 220 whites, 220 watts that are directional. And then I have a light bar too. I have four light bars, but I only use one when I'm out here on the bank. The, the goal was to put the other two on the boat, but I probably ain't never gonna do that because them black lights on the boat are terrible. The black lights, the bugs love them. In the section of the river that I like to fish, the bugs come out on the water and tear you up. Nah, they're Uncle Lou rods. Uncle Lou rods. Uncle Lou rods. Waiting on a... Waiting on a takedown. Which rod's going down next? watching you on my tv and that's the good thing about youtube too you can blast that thing up to the tv get the 55 inch view all of them sean green with the tiki talkies appreciate you champ oh no my body's about to die i just heard a beat 
I caught my 55 pound blue at Kentucky Dam, and the next day has showed what a city boy can do in the kayak. Yes, sir, Dominic. Yes, sir, Dominic, man. I love kayak fishing. That is my favorite, most exciting, fun way of fishing. I mean, getting pulled around in the kayak by some 55, 60 pound monster. Even the 30s and 40s, they feel like a good fight out there in the kayak. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. You ain't gonna do me like that. You ain't gonna do me like that, a little sticky dicky fight. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. He'll be back. He'll be back. He liked the taste. He tasted it. He done tasted it, y'all. PB 60 pounds noodling. Uh, that's one thing I will not do. I will not do. He'll be back for y'all. He tasted that eel, that luscious eel. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. That was good. Let me come back for it. He gonna make a loop around and come on back. The best worst day on the kayak. Absolutely, Dominic. Definitely go check that video out, man. That video was fire. That video was fire. My best worst day. Best worst day ever. I had a great day of fishing, but man, it was definitely some trials and tribulations to get there and also on the water too as well. But outside of that, I had a great time fishing. Yeah. It, see, that's my that's what is it TikTok is mirrored, so it's supposed to be that way, but yeah, I have it set the wrong way. I had to click the enhance. This is how it's supposed to look. Whoops, not like that. This is how the view is supposed to look. It's weird on TikTok, man. They always got the mirror, the view on mirror. Cause look, now y'all can read in the right direction and everything. Y'all can read catfish clothing the right way. Tiki Taki is weird. Spoonbill best catch in Grove, Oklahoma. I know that Spoonbill fishing is very popular. That's when they go snagging for them. How do y'all sit in the kayak for hours without getting up? It's comfortable. The kayaks are comfortable, especially the chairs that they have now. It's not like I'm just sitting on my old kayak. I couldn't do that. Sit in kayaks, I couldn't do that. But on a stand, on a sit on top kayak, with a nice comfortable chair, I can sit there for, I, I've been out there for like the 14, 15 hours. Appreciate you, John boy. Appreciate you, champ. Do you catfish taste any good? Yeah, they taste good, but they don't recommend you eat more than like three servings, four servings a month because of the toxicity levels. Yeah, these are Uncle Lou rods, Uncle Lou rods. Uncle Lou's. Do you like it the other way? It don't make no difference. Left or right, right or left. But this is the way it's supposed to be, though. Hey, how do you got your poles rigged up? Um, I use a three-way swivel Santee Cooper rig. Is how I rig up my poles. I have a video on my TikTok. If you uh, over there on my TikTok, I made a video. It's in a playlist called How To, and that's how I have my my rigs rigged up. It teaches you how to tie the lines, how to tie the knots, and rig them up and everything. We almost had three hundred thousand likes. Send man with the confetti. And make sure you guys, we have 428 amazing people in the house. Catfish regulators. Catfish regulators. Is almost at 500 subscribers on the Tiki Taki. Let's help them get there. Oh, my GoPro's out of memory. Okay, here we go.
I think that will do it again. There we go. Right there at the bottom, Catfish Regulators. Make sure y'all go on over to YouTube and give him a subscribe, guys. Let's help him. Let's help him get to his uh his goal. He needs 60 more, 60 more subscribers. Go go ahead and help him out. Ah, uh, soon, soon. I'm gonna start packing up here in the next 10 minutes. Next 10 minutes. Catfish regulators with the confetti. I don't know if you guys heard that because we was lagging over here, but make sure you guys go. Catfish regulators. Let's help him hit his goal. He goes live too as well from the dock. Catfishing out there, catching some hogs on the bank. He likes the overnight from 7 a.m. to um, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. The graveyard shit. He be out there off the late night. Uh, eighty dollars. These are. What's going on, Big Mike? You up late tonight? Middle Rod, Darren Barrett. Good morning, man. Good evening. It's about to be good night for me. <laughs> but appreciate you coming in, champ. We've been out here fishing. Got sixteen fish we caught today. Sixteen fish from the bank. Had a nice bite. Two is coming back. I agree. Two definitely should be coming back. Or maybe he went to go get Big Papa. Maybe he went to go get Big Papa Punk. And put him on dinner. We need 5,000 more likes. 5,000 more likes to hit 300,000. Ride closest. That's been the hot ride now. So the tide is coming in now. You know how I know the tide's coming in? Because all my lines are coming are going this way now. Whereas before all my lines were going down river. Now all my lines are going up, up river. The tide is coming in. It's 1.46 a.m. Nah, they all all the rides are good. The bait is good. We got eel out there. It ain't going nowhere. That eel ain't going nowhere. We still got 102 people on the YouTube. 373 thumbs up, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in off the late night. 1.46 a.m. And 387 on the Tiki Taki. So we! Doggy, 300,000 thumbs up. 300,000 likes. Oh, there goes a gust of wind. Oh, that wind just pick it up. That's the cue to, it's time to pack it up. That wind just came out of nowhere. <laughs> you ever use live fish? Yeah, I use live fish for flatheads. When I'm out there flathead fishing, that's when I use live bait the majority of the time. The majority of the time, I got live bait on all the rods. One rod I'll have cut bait, but most of the rods I'll have live bait on for flatheads. Still got three hours till I can call it a night. Well, you know, I got probably about that two hours because i gotta pack it up and then i gotta drive on home and then i gotta take a shower and then i'll be calling it a night round number one is slack round number one is slack 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 Biggest is nine pounds today. 16 fish on the bank. Biggest is nine pounds. Hey, yeah, my PB, 62. 62. I'm trying to rig up my pose. I'm trying to rig up this tent, pack it up. 
before this thing blows over. Oh! Yeah, okay. Let me put the tent up. Let me start packing things up. Don't worry, guys. The streams will be streaming. The rides will go in and last. Let me move this tent out the way. Before this gust of wind blows this thing into the river. Because I ain't put the anchors in. I did not put the anchors in it. Uh-oh, ride two got a hit. You got to take that ride down if you want me to stop packing up this tent, buddy. Come on now. He's over there playing with it. He's over there playing with it, y'all. Got the tent. Let's put this GoPro up.
Alright, the black lights is about to be packed up. Oh, uh-oh. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Got, we got some pack-a-bite action. That joker missed it. We got a hitter quitter. 318 people over here, 86 people over here. Appreciate y'all still in here. Waiting on that pack-a-bite fish. All right. Let's do it like this.
Come on, pack a bike. I know we got one in us. Last time we caught a 20 something pounder on the pack up bike. I'm on the Potomac River, Washington, D.C., packing it on up. Yeah, we had a hit on this ride right here. That one right there had a hit. But he dropped it, though. He dropped it. That joker was messing around. Throw that bait in there, feed some fishies for later. Where's my knife sheath at? There we go. Got the knife sheath. All right. Let's put this stuff in the trunk. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. You're playing around with it, y'all.
All right, there we go. Fish number 17. Probably gonna be our last of the night. 263 people, 77 people still in here watching. Find Catfish Regulators on YouTube and give them a follow, guys. Fish number 17. He's talking to y'all. Fish number 17. All right, let's let him go. Let me get these other two rods out. Get Regulators over the hump. Let's get him to 500, y'all. Give him to 500. Nice little eater, buddy. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Appreciate each and every one of y'all tuning in and watching. 71 amazing people, 377 thumbs up. We caught 17 fish tonight. God bless each and every one of you guys. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Saturday is the tournament. So make sure you guys tune in for the tournament, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Has life on YouTube. It will be there. Peace out.